Hey guys, welcome to another crazy uh, episode of Marathon Sales. So the reason why I make these uh, kind of backup videos is so that um, when I make a bunch of sales, like I made 350 items sold the last one, invariably things get miscommunicated, misunderstood, misplaced. So me having this video lets me go back and watch and see what the hell I was doing as well as uh, you can go back and review and see if there's anything that did not sell that you are interested in. You see my pens are a major source of importance and uh, I didn't bring my hydration. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab some hydration while we're about to start and we're starting. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so I'm running a little behind. Pandora, I got your bag over here, um, but I thought you would like my shirt, Pandora. I need to grab my water. Oh wait, I have some water right here. Yay, I don't have to walk away. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, I've learned a lot from last week's fiasco that's still ongoing. When I'm um, working in the leather room, whoa, good thing we got a little clock right here. Let's get that smush up. No, it's not alcohol yet, it's 10 a.m. people. Okay, so we're I've still got a couple orders that I'm looking for missing items, which hopefully we'll find when we hit the leather room. But what was happening is um, things were getting miscommunicated a lot. And I also was misplacing because in the leather room, I wasn't doing the bags. It's made it a lot harder to separate everybody's orders. So what I'm doing today is I have the bins over here that I have bags of people that told me that they still want to add to them. So I've, so I've got some bags here. Raven, I've got two bags for you because this giant box over here is yours from last week. Um, I have to take that to the post office Monday because it's so large. Um, but the three that I marked last night as ship, those are already out in the post office pickup bin. Um, there's also some confusion. I thought I was kind of clear um, last time. But I'm doing this on my own, guys, and I'm old. I'm disabled. I have stuff that I have to do. Luckily, next week, I found out already that uh, my jury duty was canceled, although I really want to be on a jury. So we don't have that issue for Monday. So I will be able to spend all day Monday um, getting stuff packed up, and hopefully this new system is going to help that go really quick. Um, I still have to do my person that bought the Edna Anya bags and won the bed stew boots. Those are still to go out. Um, Ruth, Ru Rudy girl. Um, I am part of this expedition and cleaning, but also looking for missing things. Rudy girl. I'm still looking for your coach, um, mules, which I know I saw them. Um, and then, um, Malia, I'm looking for your two pairs of sandals. Um, so that's kind of where I am on those. And then, um, I'm double checking on a, the status of a Brahmin cause I'm not real sure on it. And I don't want to send out anything that I'm not positive is real or not. So, and Miss Levine, I still have a, uh, pile here. I didn't create a bundle for you yet. Um, just cause you probably got a little more to, to make your five pounds. So what we're going to do. Hello. Hello. I got good legs for no light. It's called atrophy. It's called atrophy. They melting away because of inability to use them, but thanks. Okay. So Last night when I was kind of cleaning around looking for some stuff. Good morning, Blue Thread. Um, so I want to make it very, very clear 
and if you guys can advise people as they come in hopefully shipping is not gonna last over a week like it did from last week because i am i've got people's bags going if you think you're gonna buy multiple things let me know i'll create a bag for you otherwise i've set up bins in the kitchen that are going to be alphabetical that way for the people that just want one or two things without having to make a bag for them because they'll probably go in something smaller i have bins in there so and i've got my little let me get my little tag because we had issues before also with uh like when i stuck tags to things they came off so we have attachable tags for today. So it's going to take a little longer for me to process each item as it's sold. Um, hey, with these deals, it takes time. Okay. Um, if you want a heads up as to some of the stuff that we're going to be going through, um, most of this stuff is from my living room area, which is my most recent um, New York sourcing. So on my Instagram, which is linked on my about page. So if you want to go check that out on there is a post that has like a bunch of pictures of list. That's the listings with my cost for all of those items from that sourcing trip. So as we go through here, I will be referencing that because some of you guys got stuff way below what I paid for it. So I, you know, we're not so much about making money right now because I need to get this stuff clear, but it would be nice not to go in debt while I'm trying to get some money back in uh, with my son's issues for those of you that know. Okay, you guys have a mission and that mission is to make sure I don't lose these pens. That is the most important thing. I lose the pens, we're done. So you can't let me lose the pens. Um, it will uh, welcome Amazon. We're glad to have you. Keep in mind, we're going to be doing this for 16 hours. We may move locations, but I've already got some stuff set up in here. I do have two bins here that need at least 50 people in here because these are things like Burberry, Giorgio Armani trench cut. Okay, but let me show you guys what we got in here. We've got IRO jacket. We have Burberry's men's shirt, Burberry's men's pants. We have a Giorgio Armani trench coat that is freaking gorgeous, right? We got Gucci. We got Gucci slides. Okay, but we need we need at least 50, 60 people in here to start pulling going into this bin, right? So, uh, and again, you guys can look on my, uh, about page to go to my Instagram. These are really cute too. These are coach and they're the monk cover. Um, I think, yeah, they're for men. I have some monks that are, monk covers that are women. We've got, um, Bailey, we've got, we've got like a lot of really good stuff in here. This All Saints silk, I think it's like a tunic top, but it could, and this is supposed to be like an extra small, guys. All Saints silk, um, and it says it's a 12, but this thing is huge. It's like down to my knees. So we got a lot of really good stuff that I need some more people for, but I also have some really great stuff that we can start on now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, once I start listing items, I will ask if anybody wants me to run it. If they do, if it's gonna be, if it's something that's starting over $25, then I will put it into the quick bid and then you guys can have at it. Um, if it's something that's like under $25, like that's going to be mostly downstairs when we go back downstairs where we'll be doing um kind of what i did before but instead of doing the one two three mine i'm going to have you guys actually i'll have my timer on my phone 
and I'll have you, you'll have a minute to put a bid price into the chat. And then that way, because I, I, I have to do this multiple weekends because I got so much stuff that we have to get rid of, um, because of my son's tumor. And, oh, thank you, Christy. I will work for you guys. But I also tried to wear something tight today because I try clothes on for y'all occasionally and let you know. Cause I have like the weirdest body shape in the world. I'm like a 16, 18 up top and like a five on the bottom. So, all right. So anybody have questions? I know my girls in here will help you out and I'm going to go ahead and get us started. I'm going to bring the first bin over that we're going to go into. Um, is anybody interested in men's? Cause I got a big pile of men's stuff also, not just the Burberry that's in here. And, um, you know what? I think we're going to start on the leather coats. You guys like leather coats and leather pants? I got a pair of leather pants. I was 40. All right. So we are ready to go. Remember, we're tagging so stuff doesn't get misplaced. If you don't have a bag, remind just remind me you don't have a bag. So that way I can go and put stuff away in there where I've tried to section everything off. I mean, the bag thing worked great. All my all my clothes from downstairs were boom, boom, out. It's when we got up here to the leather room where I didn't follow through on the smart idea of putting stuff in bags that I still have stuff waiting to go out a week later. And I'm so sorry. Okay, we got agreement for leather. So here we go. And I have two trench coats in this. Okay, I'm going to whoa, break my... You guys, the, the people that are regulars here know you never know what to expect to happen in my shows because that's what happens in my shows. So the dog's sitting outside acting like an old man. I'm going to turn off the AC because it's very cool outside. I actually need, hold on one second. I'm going to go open a window so that I can get some cross ventilation. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's just hot. It's hot in the house and it's cold outside, so I'm like trying to get something. Okay, but I want to make sure that I can go back far enough to show you guys when these are long. Okay, this is definitely not a large. So you guys know, uh, like I said, I'm a 16, 18 up top, and I am about 5'5 five, five tall. So you can see where it's hitting on me. So someone taller, it's going to probably hit you like mid calf, like for a normal size human. But I also have an 18 inch wingspan. So my shoulders are 18 inches. So that's why this ain't coming. Hey, Lisa, Lisa. So this is a medium and it is a Kenneth Cole reaction. And it is 100% leather. It's not a specialty leather. That's what I was checking for. And the lining is nylon and acetate. And like I said, it's it's really tight on me up here. So it's definitely um, pretty true to size. Maybe even, a little, well, yeah, because the 1618 is like a 1X, right? Okay. Penny, I don't want you to have to call my phone already, but this is why I'm the worst QVC host ever because I've already lost my phone. Oh, Penny, call my phone. Now we have the moment when Penny has to call my phone because I can't find it. And then you guys get to go, is she drunk? I'm like, no, I'm really not drinking yet. So, uh, let me see. Or outside the state. What do we got going on? No, I am not. Oh, you're asking somebody else if they are. Penny, call my phone, please. I can't find it. Okay. I got the, um, you were, no, my phone. I can't find my phone. Are you talking to somebody else? Are you telling me to go outside and come back in and see if I remember where it is? Penny, call my phone. 
Usually she's on it. It was quite literally on the box by my foot. Thank you, Penny. So y'all know Penny saves my life occasionally. Yes, I know. And I'm not even drinking or anything. This is why I need you guys. I need you. Yes. So hold on. I'm going to go ahead. Does anybody want me to start this? It will start at $26. That's my break even on it. So does anyone want me? Leslie's already laughing at me. You guys, not even drunk yet. We don't start drinking until five. Five, we start drinking. Eight, we get inappropriate, you know? I know, maybe I should be drinking. Okay, does anybody want me to run the Kenneth Cole reaction? It will start at 26. It is a size medium, and it's definitely a size medium. I'm 5'5", five five and it's hitting just at my knees, so it's probably going to be just a little bit above. It is gorgeous. I mean, the leather is like super soft. So $26, does anybody want me to run it? I'm not seeing anybody want me to run this beauty. Okay. It is a size medium. That's why I was showing because I'm an 18 inch wingspan. So I'm like an extra large up top. Yeah, so if you're like my size, it's gonna be too big. Yeah, everybody's saying it's too small, and like it still has the bath out. That's always a plus when you're looking at older leather, especially. Okay, so that's a no go. Next one up. Okay, this one isn't leather. Um, this is a tech jacket. Um, it is sort of like Toomey's, um, in that it's a travel kind of security jacket. Now, what's really cool, as you guys see, I just unsnapped, unzipped, and there's still, in the front here, is a zipped in front lining. So we're gonna take that open, and you can either do it down the middle or on the sides, and you're taking it off. So we're gonna run it all the way around. Take that little insert out so you guys can see it's nice and puffy. I think it might be down also. We're going to check the tags in a second. So instead of a full liner, because it keeps this liner inside on the jacket, you have this through the front. And it's like really soft and quilted. Okay. And then inside here, we have pocket for your phones and stuff. On the outside we have the, where's the little cord thingy? There's like a little cord thingy for putting your headphones up. It's got the kick plate in the back. Now the, this is kind of cool too. I've never seen this. Where the kick plate can actually be snapped closed. So if you don't want the kick plate, <laughs> vampire slayer vibe. But they're really cool. These are great. So you have inside pockets on both sides for your pack. Here's the little thing for your headphones to come up through. And I am doing this on YouTube too. Um, then you also have, so like if you have that insert in and you need to get something, you also have this pocket is on the outside of the insert. So you still have a way to keep items inside your jacket. But if that insert, then you have a zipper pocket here on the outside. You have, I mean, this is a great travel jacket. And it is Toomey. It's from Toomey. And it's the Toomey Tech. And it's a size medium. This is a men's size medium. Yeah, it, it's got so much great stuff on it. And if you know Toomey, Toomey is great. And you're going to have RFID pockets usually. Let me see if we can... The RFID pocket's probably on one of the inside areas. Okay, so we've got two regular pockets there. Let me check on the inside of these zippers because I'm going to, okay, this one's definitely not. Usually you can tell the difference between the RFID. This one might be the RFID because it feels like there's like a thickness to this lining. So those are very, yeah, these are really, really expensive. So this is the 
Tumi Tuck Jacket. It is um, poly, so the outside is polyester cotton polyurethane blend. Shell two, which is that little middle piece, is polyester. The lining is polyester. The filler is polyester, so it's not down. So, but still. And again, you guys know my sizing. So this is a medium men's. So it would probably be like an extra large lemons, I would say. And you've got the, the sleeves that kind of like cuff you so that you don't have cold air going up. So guys, are y'all ready? Because this has got a little bit more of a price I can start. We're gonna start this at $35, which still is probably 10% of the retail price. So is anyone interested in this gorgeous? Yeah, it's insane. So, I mean, you guys could flip this for probably 150. Um, and I might do that if nobody wants it. All right. Tennessee lady says she wants it. She wants it. Wants it. All right. Uh -oh. See, and it's not, e it's not even noon. I haven't even drunk. Okay, I'm going to do it on my phone so I don't break this. This is like the second time I almost took this out. And that's good, Lisa, because then I'll have I'll have something to send your uh, Iceman in that I found after I shipped your other stuff. Okay, so we are going to add in the Toomey. And if you guys want to go and kind of check out some of the things that I have in this pile that I'm going to be going through over this next month, Head over to my Instagram while you're listening and loving on us and um, check out in my Instagram. I'll actually, I don't know if I can bump it or not, but if you go to my Instagram, look down and there's like a post that's just like, a, it's like a white paper and list and there's multiples of those. Go and look through there and that's got my, what I'm going to be, my starting price will be um, plus 20% because that's what I paid. Okay, so those are my break in evens on there. Are you asking me when the baby? Oh, when Lisa's baby. Yeah, Lisa, what are you doing in here? Where's your baby? Where's that grandbaby at? Okay, so we are going in here and adding the to me for $35. This ain't, you guys, my brain is totally not activated already. Maybe I should be drinking. Maybe Pandora's right. I should be drinking instead of not being drinking. All right. So we are adding the to me. Black jacket. Medium. Category is men and jackets and coats, size medium, list, and we are going to run this bad boy. We're going to start at $35. Done. Um, 60 seconds. All right. That'll give me time to set up for the next one. Let me get my little thing here. Is anybody going against uh, Lisa or should I just go ahead and make her tag? <laughs> Anybody fighting down Lisa? Or are we going to make her a tag? I, I'm going to make her a tag anyway, because even if she doesn't win this one, I know she's going to win something else. So we are getting our stuff together today. Okay, Lisa, you're not going to be here very much because you got the baby, but I do have the bucket for you. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make you a bag. That way I got something to fit your bucket into. So, okay, so you guys know, if you think that you're going to buy more than one, one or two things, uh, let me know. And it is Lisa's. There we go. Awesome. So if you think you're going to be hanging out with us all day and you might possibly buy more than one or two things, let us know and we create bags for you. And that has helped me get stuff out so fast. You guys let me sit down my pens, both of them, not just one, both of them. Um, 
And then if you don't think you're going to be sticking around, I've got bins in the front that are uh, got like alphabetized so that that's going to be easier for me to go through. And I'll know that everything that was bought is in a spot. Okay. Tennessee lady. There you go. And we're going to put your coat in here. And then that way I can also add your ice bucket thingy. All right, and I just slapped myself in the face. And I'm trying to put these alphabetical too. I know, Tegeli, you wanted me to hold your bag. And, um, what's this? And Thrifting Den. I have a bag still that you wanted me to hold for you to add stuff to. Oh, you're going to wear it to Montana. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so next up. And I got both of these down. Okay, so. This one is going to be inexpensive um, because it's got some issues with it, but it's a really good jacket. This is going to be something if you really want a jacket for going out and doing, you know, yard work and stuff like that. It is the new PT Gear Army, but it's got some bleach wearing on it. And um, so this one's going to loss. Um, this is the jacket physical fitness uniform, um, 100% nylon. It is a size large long. That's the great thing about military clothing sizes. They tell you and well, so I was a regular short or a small short. I went between regular short and small short. So that doesn't hurt your feelings or anything. What size is he? I'm a small short. Okay. So we have a large a long, so this is probably going to fit really low on me because I'm a small short. Well, not up top. Up top, now I'm probably a large short. So I have to back up. It's so long on me, I have to back up to show you. So it's like hitting halfway at my um, thighs. But again, I'm 5'5", five five, so normal person it will probably be at the waist. So I'm going to start this at $5 if anybody's interested, just because it's kind of banged up. My Instagram is um, hunter underscore Ryan underscore life, but the easy peasy way, go to my about page here in Poshmark and all of my stuff is listed and you can just click right on there. And if you aren't using that, you need to use it. So you go in sharing settings and you can add links to all of your, uh, Things that are on there is like Facebook, Pinterest, um, Instagram, and uh, Tumblr. Those four things, you can put your links to it. Not only will people then be able, you can say, go check my about page and they'll be able to link through. But when you're listing your items, you can actually uh, click as you're listing at the end there, you can click which of those places that you want that listing to go out to. So you're not having to like every time that you, you did a big listing. So now you want to pick and choose some things to post. You don't have to do that as you're listing, literally pick which social media platforms you want that item to get listed on as well. Boom. And there, and then also in your edit profile, there's website there. That is a place for you to put a link that's going to be clickable on your about page. I use um, Linktree and it's linktr.ee. And there you can make a free link tree that has all of your stuff, your affiliate codes, everything on there. And that's going to be a clickable link on your about page. So you can tell people, hey, you want to find me on YouTube? Go to my about page, click on my link tree. All my stuff's there. So use those resources, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so um, army jacket. Anybody want this? Run for five dollars. Did anybody see what that was? Okay, I got nose on the army jacket. All right, we have a Hugo Boss, Boss Hugo Boss. Oh, and. Um, this is a women's blade. Oh my God, this thing is so soft. So, so soft. Oh my God. This is probably going to be way too small for me. Does it have a size down here? 
Um, oh, it's made in Slovenia. Um, it is a US size six. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna fit my shoulders. Let's see. Okay, I can get it on one. So we can put it on one shoulder and then you guys see, y'all can see like how wide my shoulders are because that's where it comes on the back. So I can show you on one shoulder what she looks like. Really nice black fabric is super, super soft. Boss, Hugo Boss and um, made in Slovenia. It is a polyester blend with, oh, wool. That's what's making it so soft. So it's wool, viscose. That's probably actually what's making it. So wool, viscose, and polyester. So the wool and the viscose is probably where it's getting that super, super softness. And I will start this at uh, 15. And these are ones that we can do on the, you know, bid in the comments if you want it and then we'll start your tab and your pile and i will hold like if you want to keep coming and adding i will hold bags like i've got some held here for people that want to just keep coming back until they have five pounds worth of stuff so that's kind of why i also am doing it where we do the the bidding in the comments so that way you're not getting charged for a ship fee until you got enough stuff to be worth a ship fee, right? Hi, Cindy. I'm <laughs> live on TV right now. You're what? I'm live right now. I'm live selling. See? These are my people. This is my neighbor, Susie. Susie's <laughs> saying hi. So, I am live on TV for 16 hours. What are you going to do? Sell? Sell. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah. If I can find anything, this is like my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. But if you got all your business in one area. Yeah, I wish. Wow, that is gorgeous. Isn't this a gorgeous jacket? I have two of these. I have, these are both men's um, nauticas, new with tag, 100% silk sand washed so it's sand washed silk sports coat and look at the color on this kind of hard to tell in here it is gorgeous like i've got that's why i got a light on blue over blue. here yes it's gorgeous gorgeous good morning bella so this look, one you've lost is a lot of weight honey you have i'm working right now let me get out of it let me go <laughs> I don't have any powdered coffee. I could make some at my house. No, I don't drink coffee. Sorry. Not a coffee person. Well, my daughter and her boyfriend did. Oh, no. Driving me crazy. 46 regular on this one. Chewy, stay over here. Chewy. Okay. Chew. Come here. Chewy's trying to go with Susie. Susie. Oh, Susie has dementia and a little bit of a drinking problem. So. Um, Chewy, come here. Sorry, guys. I had to make sure my dog didn't get taken away. All right. That sun and those leaves on the trees. Girl, it, it's it's actually cool today, but because I'm kind of running around and I don't have but one window open and the door, I'm burning up. That's why I always, that's why you always see me in t-shirts or tanks and shorts. Like, this is my cold weather I put on a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so Nautica sand washed silk men's jacket new with tag this is a $300 jacket it's 46r sports coat 
is anyone interested in this? Yeah. Um, we will start it at 30. 30 for new attack. So it's 10% of the retail price. You know, you guys, if you're not buying it for your honey, you know you can flip that. So anybody tell me if you want me to run this. A $300 sports jacket. I'm starting at $30. Okay. Okay. And then I guess you don't want the other one. Let me see what the size on this one is. Uh, okay. Did anybody need a different size? Because I do have it also in another size. So, okay. We'll just bypass that. And then I don't even have to show it. Okay. Marmont. Who knows Marmont? I know more much. Now, this does have a brand name. So these were branded. This, I can take that out if anybody wants, or you can. Um, the other size, Lisa, I think is the smaller size. So the first one is 46 regular. And the second one is, ah, I got to get to the tag. Our second one is a 48 regular. So 46 regular or 48 regular on the Nautica silk. What size do you need? To... All right. So we have 46 and 48. We can do them both together. If somebody wants them both together. I'll do it. Instead of 60, I'll start it at 50. So you'll save ten dollars, get two jackets. Nobody's interested. Oh, uh, you need a forty-four. They just missed you. Forty-six. Well, you know, you feed them good. We we could get to that forty-six. All right. So nobody wants me to start two three hundred dollar jackets, three hundred dollars each, for fifty dollars. They're hundred percent silk. Nautica. All right. All right. Nobody's loving the stuff today, but for for us to get to the Gucci and all of that, we need at least 50 people in here. So, although this might be, I know this is U.S. So we have a Halston made in the U.S. Halston tuxedo jacket for, and let me see if this has the sizing in here. Uh, you can tell this one was hand tailored because you see the the notes the tailor wrote on the inside. So it was uh, sixteen ninety five. Sorry, twenty two. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So this one's probably hand tailored. It's uh, wool. And uh, do you guys know the difference between a regular suit jacket or pants? and a tuxedo anybody come on guys this is basic fashion knowledge what's the difference between a tuxedo pant or jacket and a regular suit jacket and pants come on come on my fashion queens nobody's answering nobody knows the difference between a tuxedo and a regular lapel what about the lapel because it's not always just the lapel. Because you can have a regular suit with the same shape lapel. Satin. So very close. It has a satin. It can be a silk satin. So it'll have the shiny. So, um, and it can be somewhere else on it. So your that's why your tuxedo pants, they're called tuxedo pants because they have that shiny satin um, going down the leg. And then, and that's why you call jeans that have the stripe down the side. Some people call it just because the stripes there, but for it to be an official tuxedo, it has to be satin or it can be a satin that's made out of silk. So there you go. Useless information that I have here. Okay. So this is, this is probably that same, cause this is fitting me kind of like that 40. This is probably a 44 Lisa. You want to get your man a tuxedo jacket? This doesn't look bad on me either. 
I like wearing men's jackets. And I don't, and it actually is a thing, especially when they're long like this, because uh, you can wear like a little small top underneath and maybe some uh, like satin shorts. And so you're in a tuxedo thing. And I've seen it at Oscars and stuff where they've worn like little tuxedo shorts underneath. And some of them, you know, they got it like taped here and there's nothing there. Yes, all the time. So is anyone interested in our Halston tuxedo jacket made in the USA, full and satin? I can do, uh, if anyone is interested, I can do measurements on that. I'm not seeing interest. Okay. If, if I, I might have to just turn off if I don't get any interest in this next item. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I think y'all are all, all, I'm just going to figure everybody's here for $30, uh, Brahmins and just be like, yeah, uh, I'm done. So here's what we got guys. Vintage. You see the suede on the arm I'm trying to button it right now. I just button the outside one. It's a, it's a double breasted closure. So it's got the button on the inside. This is like just above my ankles, guys. Cuffed. Right now, the sleeves are cuffed, but they can come back down. Leather print. 80s. You even got the shoulder pads in it. It's hitting me like right at my ankle, so it's probably going to be like mid calf for a normal sized human. I'm five five. For all my short girls like me, 1980s vintage leather and suede. I know I'm going to get to some spring stuff, but some of this is for people that, and I did get asked to run the leather, so that's why we're going through the leather right now. So, yes, we do get to spring stuff as well and, and shoes and bags, but trying to clear this out. So, this is a large uh, Marco Marani Milano, New York, size large vintage, and I do a lot of vintage. Um, I have a lot of vintage leather, and we're going to start this at $30, guys. Vintage black leather and suede. 1980s still has the shoulder pads and everything thank you for yelling at me all right anybody interested 30 dollars a long trench all right so uh so is nobody interested now to the person that wanted me to run um i think that was uh or our girl that does the native jewelry. Does anybody want me to stay on jackets? Because I'll go off of jackets. If nobody wants me to be on jackets right now. Okay. How about some menswear? Does somebody want to see some men's items? All right. So we have these LeBron Nike. I'm pretty sure this is LeBron. Yeah. Nike LeBron 23, size large, sweatpants, active pants, lounging active wear pants, size large men's, LeBron, Nike LeBron. And we'll start these at 15. Nike LeBron, starting at 15. Lisa wants me to run. See, I knew I was going to need to make a, her a bag, even though she's not supposed to be here. <laughs> All right. Um, add the listing. And this is LeBron. Okay. All right. Category men. Up. Athletic wear. Why don't we have athletic wear in our stuff here? Sweatpants and joggers. There we go. All right. And this is a size large, I believe I said. 
yes, size large. And we're going to run that for Lisa. And I'll just start walking towards your bag, Lisa, since you're the only one buying today, it looks like. Welcome. Hi, love what are you showing today? I got all kinds of stuff. I have purses. I have shoes. I have high-end designer, but I need 50 people in here at least to start showing because I've got uh, some Gucci um, slides. I've got like we, we kind of reviewed at the beginning some of the stuff we got that we need 50 people to start going into the two bins. I've got two bins of stuff we need 50 people for. Um, you can also, if you look on my Instagram, all this stuff that I'm kind of going through this section of the house, most of that stuff should be listed on my Instagram. There is an Instagram post that just has a list of items with my cost so that plus 20 percent is what they will start at in here because i was giving stuff away last time so i'm trying to make sure that i'm not losing my mind okay um lisa we are running b for you and we'll see if anybody's going to try and outbid that otherwise i'm just going to start walking over to lisa's bag where did i put lisa's bag now I think I put it over here. That's what fell. This cover up her bag. Okay. This is bags right there with that jacket. I'm going to look right here. I'm right here by Lisa's, Lisa's bag. Anybody else is going to try and jump in on this? I'm over by the bags too, so I can make a bag for you. All right. 22. Okay, next thing, I'm going to go ahead and preview what's next up while she's finishing off, and then that way y'all can tell me if you're interested or not. Lucky Brand men's t-shirt. Cool, groovy piece uh, Lucky Band shirt. This is a men's size 2XL. Super fun, and we will start this one at 10 also. Uh, yes, you won them. Okay, so anybody interested in the lucky top for 10? And that's one that we can put in your bag for building your, because it's under 15. I'd like to put it with the building your five pound bag. Because that saves us all money. Anybody interested in the lucky size 2XL t-shirt, men's t-shirt, large graphic print, $10. And I'm going to go with the no. All right, next men's. Okay. This is in men's, but girls, y'all might want this too. This is the Smurfs size medium men's, which is probably like a large, extra large for women's. Long sleeve Smurfs graphics down the sleeves. I don't know if you're my age. You remember the Smurfs. So no stress. La La Land, the little mushrooms. We got the full graphic Smurf. So you got Papa Smurf. Um, I forgot what the girl's name was. Love. Yeah, so we got the Smurf. We got Baby Smurf, which we still don't know how Baby Smurf came to be, but you know. And then on the other side, we have the evil cat that was always trying to get the Smurfs and Boom! And little Smurf duck. Smurf crossing or something. So, this is a medium sized men's long sleeve Smurf graphic shirt. Let me see if we got a date on here. Uh, this is 2019, um, licensed from Belgium. So, did y'all know the artist is from Belgium? So, it's 2019, so it's not vintage. But a very cool t-shirt, and we will start that at 10. If anyone is interested, let me know. Now, I know I was selling jerseys like crazy. So let's see if anybody wants a fun jersey. So this is Moving Smooth Wicked America. Um, these are made in... Um, Carlstadt, Tennessee, maybe. 
USA, friendly earth, friendly people. This is an extra large, wait, why does that say made in Korea? Uh, maybe they're create, maybe they're designed in the USA and then made. So wicked America, but it's like the good wicked, like Boston wicked. wicked. And it's that really nice meshy kind. Yeah, plays plays with the Y. We're not gonna make it. But I think he's more into teams. I don't know that he would want this brand, Wicked America. And then you've got the big Wicked on the bottom. So anybody from like Boston, Wicked. That's who I got. But it it is a really uh, kind of trendy brand, especially up north. So that's why I got it. So that's an extra large. No one is wanting that one. And it is the sew on on front. So it's sew on kind of like a, a rubber and then embroidered. And so all of that's embroidered. So it's not like a cheap, very good guy. Nice. So like if you liked your, if you liked your hobby. So now we got new with tag, um, Kronti. Kronti collection by Fade It. This is a 4XL. Talk about Valentine's Day. Old school Argyle sleeveless sweater vest. Size 4X men's. I want to give this to your honey to wear to brunch or take you out on your date or wear to church. 4X Argyle. New with tag. Anybody showing any interest at all is, are you guys, is this the mom? Are you guys here? Is anybody here? Y'all making me think I need to start drinking. Or just in. Okay, so I think everybody's wanting the giveaways downstairs and not wanting to do right. All right, Lucky Brand, 3832, and I think I have two of these. No, those are 44s. Okay, so 3832. And this has four. Never mind. All right, so inside of Lucky Brand, we have Button Fly, True a Religion, size 44. Look at this color. It's gorgeous. Wait, was that yep for the um the other pants? I'm sure there will be. Are like are you looking like athletic wear or um, shoes? Because I'm not sure on shoes. Okay, so athletic wear. I still have like two or three bins downstairs that I have to get to to start pulling out. Um. No wear here. Okay. Um. No, if you wanted those, I'll just throw them in your bag and you can stitch up the front here. Oh, uh, we're here. Okay, so 44. Gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise. Like a, a gem turquoise. Like beautiful, beautiful. Corduroy pants. Men's size 44. All right. Oh, shoot. Y'all let me know what's going on real quick here. All right. So men's airwalk, um, size 38, little uh, cargo shorts. And they're kind of like a, a light, light tan. Her fingers can't tie. So really not. The pockets have pink underneath, but that needs to be ironed down. You know? And it's that summer, the summer cotton blend that I told you guys about before that this was actually created by the military. Susie, I, I can't help you out, babe. Chewy, come here. Sorry. Um, it's got that summer texture weave. Um, and that was invented by the U.S. military for uh, the summer BDUs, which came out when I was in the military. So that tells you how long ago it was. But if you ever see that crosshatch, that's actually the material created 
by the U.S. military to make a lighter weight uh, battle dress uniform um, for summer wear. So uh, anybody interested, we've got size 38 on those shorts, air walks. Finish up going through this menswear. Hopefully I'm not showing you guys my butt right then. All right, so we got some men's S. Oliver. Um, Tubix, T-U-B-X, regular fit. And then the size is um, 36, 34s. Really cool. So this one, it's like on this one, it's got like this kind of leather look strip over that one. That's probably to make it slide easier for your wallet to slide in without rubbing your pants. So 30, what was it? 36, 34s, I think, on this. 36, 34s. All right. Nobody wants anything today. Oh, my goodness. All right, go take a nap. Wait for, the, wait for the people that want to buy to come on tonight. Have any unique knitted hats? No, baby. Um, okay, so this one I actually have to take this patch off because the stuff is kind of going off. But I, this actually, the, the metal piece, the reason why I didn't take it off yet is the metal piece is actually screwed on. So I'm going to uh, put that with the pants. If somebody does want these um, it's called virus and these are really cool but then you can actually if you want you can um, then screw this into the pants themselves oh, I'm so glad you love that purse I think that's what everybody's wanting is just me to give away stuff today but I need to actually even out <laughs> Okay, these are size 44, a virus, 100% cotton. And you see the nice lidding detail that it has. It's not, it's not a, um, it's just ridged. It's not actually a, a corduroy, but it's got a cool, yeah, you look it up, it's a designer vintage. Excellent. See, y'all never know what you're going to get, but nobody wants to buy anything today. They just want me to give them stuff again. Sketchers, men's, pull ons, uh, loungewear, size large. Got some large sketchers. We'll start these at five if anybody wants to add them to their bundle for their five pounds. Uh, sketchers, sketchers, nice brand, guys. Nice men's. Yeah, men or women can wear them. It's just the the size is a men's large. So that way, you know, like if a woman got it, they'd be like, these are extra large. So I have to try and solve that. But these are really excellent shape. No wear really to them. A lot of people will wear these also as uh, scrubs because they're kind of that similar. Okay. Uh, you want a measurement of the waist? Dude, did I really come out here without a measuring tape? One second. The waist is 16 and a half. That's flat front. Let me get this where I can be flatter. Get an inseam. Inseam is 30 inches. So 16 flat front and 30 inch inseam. Too big. Oh darn. They do have pulleys. It does have the pulley, pulley. All right. Next up, we're almost done with our men's pile right here. Um, and 
also okay so i just got a couple more things of men's stuff that's not high end so i also have some burberry men's and stuff like that that we're not going to run until we have 50 people it doesn't look like we're going to get 50 people because nobody's hanging out uh, uh lisa wants me to run this or lisa actually for those because i'm only doing them at five i'm just going to add them to your tab for i'll send you the thing for that so just add it on the tab there okay so so yeah we need 50 people for me to start pulling out the gucci and the burberry and all of that so and need people actually bidding on stuff um yeah we did have some 2x stuff a little earlier uh in the jackets range but um we'll also be heading downstairs so right now we're working in an area that has things that i have to get back the money i invested at the minimum so i literally am calling stuff at what i paid for it plus 20 percent so it seems like nobody's really interested in stuff that they're actually paying for they just like the free stuff so um but later we will go downstairs to the stuff that i can sell for five dollars and uh then everybody will buy stuff i guess and make bundles so this is size large super dry if you don't know super dry super uh these are made in japan and it is a, a very trendy dude thing yeah so um well because i'm doing men's right now pandora so super dry and it's like a raised print on there yeah so super dry really big it's a japanese brand and this is a size uh oh, that's kind of strange it's a japanese brand made in china they usually don't get along very well so it's tokyo new york london but they made it in china hmm. size large so you gotta see that and it's got the little super dry authentic patch and we are looking at a $10 start on this. So if people are interested, if there's more than one person interested, we'll do the bidding in the, um, in the comments. So that way people can add to their bundles. So is anybody interested in this baby? And the, if anybody wants uh, underwear, go check Pandora. Okay. Nobody wants super dry for $10. All right. Yep. So we're wanting a giveaway show. I see, I see, said the blind man to the deaf man. All right, so while walking with the cripple man. Okay, uh, Wrangler, relaxed fit, um, size 40. These are 98% cotton, 2% spandex. Nice little cargo shorts. And these can go into your five pound bundle back for five dollars so does anybody want this to add to a bag and remember we don't like actually bid bid on these we just we create bags and then depending on how many shows you come to it takes for you to get to five pounds then i send you your bill and that way you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff every single show we can like build your five pound bags i don't know if like nobody's even talking either okay all right um okay so oh wait i did have two more things on menswear and we've got glen mac scotland both of these are glen mac scotland these are vintage um wool sweaters from scotland made in scotland 100 percent cashmere wool so you can see a gorgeous nice color um you were wanting the size 36 shorts linda or at least i'm sorry you're losing my mind uh no these are 40s I don't know on this size. I just kind of like was cleaning up an area and just kind of divided stuff out into like a lot of men's stuff. That's kind of like 
regular men stuff. And then I have my two bins of high end stuff that I don't want to like just give away again. Cause I know it seems like that's kind of all I'm good for is to give my stuff away. Um, and then I've got another bin over here of women's like nice stuff, but um, not really the $5 stuff. And then um, if anybody's here, we'll go downstairs and go through some $5 bins because it doesn't look like anybody wants the actual stuff. So, okay. So Glenn Mac, 100% uh, pure cashmere, vintage, made in Scotland. So I have the pullover and we have the cardigan, same color, same brand and everything. And they're both. Uh, I think we have a size in here. That's the grandpa sweater. I love it. So these are men's, but I would wear these because they're like super, super soft cashmere. Um, really nice cut on them. I like the V neck on it, which is very, you know, that's very flattering on women as well. So. Um, yeah, these are probably going to be large because they're like actually bought in Scotland. They don't have like that and they're vintage. So yeah, I'm a 16, 18 up top. Um, yeah, I do. But people have to buy stuff for their men. And Lisa's the only one that's bought anything and both of the things she bought were menswear. So there you go. And she's not even supposed to be on here. So I'm a 16, 18 up top. And you can see I've still got a little room in here. And very comfortable. You got the two puck. This is like the great kind of sweater to like have at work. Especially if you like work in a nice office. So you've got this gorgeous cashmere. And then that way if you wear something that's... Uh, Kind of a little chilly. Yeah, she's got a husband. The rest of us don't. <laughs> um, I I'm a 16, 18 up top and a five on the bottom. So, but that's called atrophy. It's not like train. So okay, so I will do these two together. And like I said, they're uh I would consider them a women's large, so probably a men's medium. Cause you know, like I said, 16, 18 up top, and they're fitting me like comfortably. This is the way I would want to wear them. So they're not too loose. They're not too tight. 16, 18 is what I am, and that's how they're fitting. So I would probably call this a men's medium, women's large, or 16, 18. Yeah, I would call it. Okay, so I will sell the set. And we will start at $20 for two vintage. So that's $10 guys each for vintage, 100% cashmere from Scotland. So not cheap stuff, $10 each, not a lot to ask. So and nobody's interested. Awesome. Got it. Okay. Women. Maternity. Anybody got a baby coming? Or a dog that you treat like a baby? Okay. I never used one of these, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be doing this right or not. But it's like the little sling thing that you carry your baby or you can nurse them. It's called the Maya wrap. Little boob wrap thing going on. Anybody needing a, a baby holding wrap thingy? for nursing or just carrying them. Um, it is made in Guatemala, 100% um, cotton, great color. Like this really nice purple color. And it's got like padded here. So when you've got them on your shoulder and you're holding the baby, look, I think I have a baby doll. Where's my baby doll? Here, I'll put the giraffe in it. So you got your little giraffe baby. You're putting your little giraffe baby in there to do a little private nursing. Yeah. 
There you go. And you got a little padding on here. So the little giraffe baby. You peek out. Look at everybody. Hey, what's going on? Oh my giraffe baby. Hello. Is this thing on? Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? <gasps> Ria, Risa, hi. Welcome to the party. Okay. Enough puppety. So, giraffe baby. You know what? I'll throw the giraffe baby in. Because it's got a little picture holder from Bush Gardens. So, we will throw giraffe baby picture holder in with the Maya Maya. Now, you guys, these also not cheap. That's why they're not down in the $5 room. So, if you know women that are buying these, savage, savage. Giraffe baby included with our Maya 100% cotton baby sling. You can also use it for nursing because it gives you good coverage um, if you want it like that. But it's also for carrying the baby. And we will start this at $20. A giraffe baby included. So is anyone interested in the Maya Maya? Beautiful. Anybody got uh, somebody having a baby soon or just had a baby or you, you got a baby coming soon and you would like to have a nice secure way to hold the baby close to you up against you. And for also, like I said, covering if you are Rhea, you want me to run it, baby? Giraffe baby included. Or are you just saying yes to hello? We're going to run it for, all right, we're going to run this for $20. And Rhea, am I making you a bag or do you want me to just uh, attach? So if you don't know, like for those coming in, I found doing bags went way better than when I was just like piling stuff up with names on it. So if you are going to be staying around for a while, I can make bags and then especially like if there's anything that's like under $15, um, I'll just put it in your bag. And then at the end of the show, if you have five pounds worth of stuff, then I'll send you a bundle that's got all of your items itemized with the total cost. If you don't have five pounds of stuff, I am actually holding bags over multiple shows so that you guys can do that. So we're gonna run this real quick, but that's so you guys know, um, especially because a lot of times when you're doing those $5 stuff shows, like I'm gonna have downstairs once we get done with this stuff up here, um, you know, it's you'll get somebody that buys like three things instead of the whole thing, but they, they come to multiple shows so I don't want them to have to pay shipping every single show. Um, so I think it's just a, a easier system for us to cash out when you get five pounds of stuff. If no, if only one person is interested, then I just do it at my, um, my cost price. Um, if multiple people are interested in something, then we're going to do it as an auction within the comments. So that way I'm still able to add it to you guys' thing. But because a lot of people didn't like the one, two, three mind game. Um, because there were certain people that were a little drunk, Pandora, um, that couldn't keep up. So yeah. So we gotta help the drunkers like me occasionally. Um, maybe everybody's not coming right now because they will they're waiting until five o'clock when I start drinking. Holder. All right, and this is, I'm going to put it as women accessories, maybe one size list. And we are going to start this at $20. <laughs> yeah, Rhea, we don't start drinking till five and we get really inappropriate at eight. Just so you know, you know, and as long as it takes for us to get 50 people, that's how long y'all are going to be waiting on these Gucci sandals and DVF silk dresses, DVF wrap dresses. Um, 
I got a Giorgio Armani uh, trench coat that is fabulous. Lots of designer stuff, but I'm not doing it until we get at least 50 people. So that's what's going on. It's Saturday. What's up? Good morning. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to set up and figure out who's going to win this. Who's going to be the winner of the baby nursing slash baby giraffe bundle? It looks like it's going to be Rhea Sales, but Rhea, you better stand by because I had somebody go to the bathroom before when they thought they had it in the bag and the other person swooped in last second and they're like, oh, I was in the bathroom. How did I lose it? And I've had it happen to me too. Mega Pint Posher. Um, yes, I think I actually finished you off. You should have been, did you see a, uh, a ship notice? And I think I, I didn't mean like finish you off in a bad way. Rhea, got it. Rhea, do you want me to make you a bag or just, uh, tag it for you? So the tagging, I am alphabetizing. I have bag. All right. So. Like I said, the bags went really good for me. All the bag stuff went really good for uh, Mega Pint. What's your real name, Mega Pint? I'm pretty sure I finished you yesterday. Oh, you got this shift. Okay. You're giving me a nervous breakdown. I was like, wait, I thought I said shift for already. All right. So, don't let me. I'll put it back up. So this is Rhea Resale. So, but yes, yeah, this bag thing, that went great. It's been the stuff from the leather room that I wasn't putting in bags because I didn't have any room in there. That's been a nightmare. We're still looking for a couple things. So, uh, Rhea Resale. So that's why even if uh, people don't want bags, I'm tagging it and I have bins in the kitchen that are alphabetical because that's going to make it a lot easier. I don't have to worry about something being in there or out here or whatever. It's all either going to be in a bin or in a bag. Okay, resells. You're going to go over here with the S and the T's. I do have some R's over here. All right, so next thing up. Thank you, Dr. Perked me up because I was feeling kind of sad there for a minute. So I got a new tag back to menswear. I have, uh, I got a couple more menswear. Sorry, I lied. Um, okay, 2XL, a new tag, Oscar de la Renta sweater. It is 78% caught, cotton, 20% acrylic, and 2% other fibers it's hand framed that means like when they're doing the weaving it's not a machine it's a hand framing and then they run the things through it so you know it creates a texturing which is beautiful um i don't think i made a flyer for today maybe i need to make a flyer so this is just send out messages to all your friends 2xl and we will start this at $20. So anybody interested, new tag, 2XL, men's Oscar de la Renta, hand framed. Yes, you got it, Rhea. And it's in your bag, girl. Yes, you won. Okay, anybody, $20 on a Oscar de la Renta, new tag, hand framed sweater and there we go you don't have any friends me either that's why that's why nobody's ever in here i think i have no friends only okay denim and flower ricky singh this is an extra large denim and flowers if you don't know super great brand Aww. well i do have you guys thanks um this is a, a large, wait, is it large? Extra large, extra large denim and flowers. This is actually a men's brand, just so you know, uh, but women 
you know, women can wear it too, but it's going to be a men's size extra large denim and flowers. And basically, uh, this is a really nice trendy. This thing feels brand new. If I mean, I'm going to call it um, excellent use condition because I don't know for sure if it's new or not, but it sure feels new. So anybody interested, extra large gem and flower Ricky Singh. Um, and this will start at $15. Ricky Singh, $15. If you don't know, look it up and you'll be like, oh, I missed out on the deal. A lot of this stuff still, guys, even though I'm not like giving it away today, um, you guys can still flip this if you don't want it for yourself. So this is called, it's kind of funny, uh, free band, but it's wear first. So it's like wear it first and then you'll know why people like it. It's the brand's name and motto. And these are men, again, you've got the, this one's like a extra small of the summer weave. So you're going to get uh, more air flow. And these are size 40s. Wear first, then tell the difference. These are really, really nice cargo pants for men's. And we can start these at 10. If anybody wants to add these to their thing, just let me know if there's not um, like more than one person that wants it. Then we just put it in your five pound uh, growth bag. Okay, I have sold one of these before. And I knew somebody else was wanting me to find the other one, but I didn't till just now. So there's somebody out there that was wanting this. Again, excellent use condition. If I had any indication like a torn thing on it, I would call it uh, new without tags, but I don't have, so I'm just gonna call it excellent use condition. 2XL Buck Mason, also really nice. These are made in America. This is a great, uh, this is a 2XL. Oh, you said sizzle, not size. Um, great long sleeve. This is a great base layer for hunting, for wearing under your hunting camouflage or just lounging. It's a really nice, um, lightweight, breathable, and I think it's cotton mix at least. I mean, oh, 100% cotton made in the US. Oh, hey. So there you go, 100% cotton, great loungewear or base layer for going hunting or fishing or anything like that. If you didn't get your man a Valentine's, there's your Valentine's. Give him that and be like, here, honey, you can go out hunting. Okay, that would be a gift, right? If they're into it. Um, we still have this Marmont vest that nobody uh, said anything about. All right, size large Under Armour. This could go in the $5 category. So if anybody wants to add this, the 2XL, oh, on the um, the Buck Mason, that's 2XL. Super comfy. Okay, I will give it one second. Okay, are we wanting this information? Because this, what did I say? Ten dollars, right? On this or no? Yes. Okay. So I had a four X men earlier that no, uh, I have a four X men's um, vest that's new a tag. Um, yes, we'll do the more amount. One second. I think I have people wanting me to run this. Are you guys? I think I have two people wanting me to run the Buck Mason. Yes. Okay. And so you guys know on the Marmont, it does have a brand name on it, but those are really easy to just, you get you a little um, seam ripper and you just pull those right out. So, um, all right. So book Mason. Oh. Category men shirt, long sleeve t shirt done, and this is a 2XL. Big tall, go over here. Where's my 2XL? 
there is and we are in like Glenn and it's on there and we are going to auction this for ten dollars because I think we had more than we had more than two people wanting this right because I could just put it if if it's only you my Odessa um I could just put it in a bin for you Lisa, were you interested in the in the Buck Mason t-shirt? If not, I'm just going to give it to... Okay. Um, Maya Dessa, um, do you want me to just start a bag for you instead of you having to pay 10 on it right now? Okay. We're going to do a bag that way. That way you can build up five pounds over multiple shows. Because, you know, if you only buy, like, one thing and then you got to pay... The ship fee on one thing but then you plan to come back the next weekend you know you just oh you were just telling her the size okay so that way so you guys know i will oh you guys let me sit down my sh okay so this is why these two pens are important this one writes on bags and this one writes better on paper so that's why we kind of have to have both of them so y'all can't let me put them down Good morning, Aaron UFO. Okay, so for the new people, uh, we do run bags so that that way, um, if you want to come over multiple weekends uh, when I do these marathons, um, or, you know, sometimes I'll do a pop-up during the week, um, but that way you don't have to cash out until you have a full five pounds, and that way you only have to pay one ship, and it could be over a couple of weeks. So um, this is my girl this is jelly bane okay where's she at my odessa and then i have to make sure that i spell it to where i can actually read it because that was another fun game that i was playing figure out what the hell name i wrote on the bag game it was really fun so I have to remember to put like if you got a dash I gotta put that on there all right so and then these were the size large under armors that were going to be a if anybody wants them uh five dollars to your bag uh jelly bean I did not find the shoes but I did find a really nice bag because you said that you wanted a bag instead okay so uh Lisa, you're the only one interested in these uh, large shorts. Looks like. Wait, is it Lisa or it's me that's interested in these? Okay, you too. So start at $5. First person, we're going to, hold on, let me get my timer on. Because I don't, you know, I want to be able to keep making you guys bags so if stuff is under $15 it's a lot easier for us to do this and it's fun then because then we can pit them against each other no I'm not going to run it what I'm going to do is start my timer and you guys got 60 seconds to battle it out in the comments Arr. okay and you got to do that face when you're doing it Arr. I'm battling you up okay so we are going to start the timer at 60 seconds, so you can get rid of that whole minute thing. I know Pandora likes people to go for 60 minutes. So here we go. 59 seconds, starting at $5. Go. Come on, guys. Lisa, put your, you better put that $5 up there. Or I'm not going to let you have it. Come on, it's me. It's me. Come on. Oh, Lisa was like, I'm just going to jump to 10. <gasps> Five. Right, you're going the wrong way. It's me. <laughs> so she beat you. It's me did five. Lisa did ten. Bid power. That's awesome. So I. Jesus, it sounds like there might be more of the drunk neighbor come, trying to come over. All right. So Lisa won it for ten. She was not playing. So we're not even done because it's me gave up. All right. So. Let me write on here my little ten dollar, ten dollar for Lisa. Other thing, because people are 
telling me I had stuff all crazy. I'm making sure we get everybody set up. Oh, time's up now. This mess. All right. There, there we go. That's going in Lisa's bag. Here's Lisa's bag. There's Lisa. Okay. Where's your name on here, Lisa? Oh, there it is. Okay. Jesus, Mother Mary. Everybody's got my 911 number, right? Okay. Here is the Marmont. Again, it does have, well, I mean, this would actually look cute leaving that on there, but it does have a brand on the back, and all you need to do, what the hell is going on out here? Oh, okay. It's a neighbor. I thought they were like in my yard. Okay. So, but I mean, you can actually get this out really easy with just a seam ripper if you don't want it on there. So this is a Marmont. And y'all saw how many people were like, show the Marmont, show the Marmont. Because this is not cheap, guys. So this is a size medium Marmont. It has the fleece and the um, kind of like Let's see how it's kind of like a uh, nubby in there. Chewy's Chewy is out by the door. He was sitting out on the stairs acting like an old man watching traffic go by. Um, we have that's kind of cool. So you don't lose your little thingy. It's actually attached. You know how you like pull it up. Nylon webbing. Is that what you're telling me it is? Kind of cool. Size medium, it is, the shell is 96 polyester, 4% elastine, lining is polyester. So, really nice, kind of, this is fleecy, and then this has that kind of nubbiness to it. And then, it's a medium, and I am 16, 18 women, so this might actually be a women's, guys, because it actually kind of cuts in. So I think it's a women's medium. Um, just checking on him. Yep. No, I I actually have a fence at, under the the thing. He likes to sit on the stairs and watch the stuff. So anybody still interested in the Marmont? And we will start it at uh, eighteen dollars. $18 for the Marmont the vest. Tennessee lady is already on it. 18. Yeah, if nobody else is in for it, uh, Lisa, then I'll just give it, I'll add it to your tab. No one else interested in the Marmont. I had three people asking to see it a minute ago. All right, so Lisa has the Marmont. Uh, 18 and Lisa you know how to uh, remove the name if you don't want it right Yorkie just wants a candy bar <laughs> no he just likes hanging outside and like watching the traffic so he'll just sit there for hours on this air as long as I'll let him sit outside or he goes under the house and uh, hunts lizards. So sometimes we, we have a lizard hunting season going on. All right. Uh, you know what, guys? What do we have? I think we had, oh, uh, we almost had 25. Oh, no, here he is. What are you doing, Josh? The people would like to see you. Make sure the people did. No, oh, Jesus. Oh, the 30 pound of Godzilla Yorkie. Show your face. Say hello. Hello. Hello, people. All right. Go. Go run. Be free. Okay. So, um, we had 25, so I'm going to do one thing that somebody asked for out of the eight. The wait for 50 people, Ben. So, just whet your appetite. Yet yeah, we're up to... I am in uh, Big Pine Key, Florida, which is 30... Well, let me sit down the pen again. Um, it is 30 miles north of Key West. If you've ever driven down to Key West, you've probably passed Big Pine because it's the one stoplight between Marathon and Key West. 
So this is All Saints, size 12. I'm going to take them out and put them right there for a second. So, Silk. Welcome, you people. So, Silk. You guys see the raw um, tailoring edges. The bottom has, like, little sparkles and beading. Really layered, kind of like a... 40s layering thing going on on the bottom and this is uh this has size 12 and it's actually it's high low but opposite so it's actually lower in the front than it is in the back which is kind of cool but uh it is sheer so you guys can see so and you can see how oversized it is because i'm a 16 18 up top and you see that it's kind of big on me. And you can see I'm also, this is the right way, right? Um, I'm 5'5", five, five, and you can see in the front, it's coming down um, below my knees. You've got kind of like this gypsy, flowy kind of thing going on. And then in the back, it's like right at my knees. So, I mean, you could wear it as a dress with something under it. It's got like all this kind of loose raw edges kind of stuff going on. It's really kind of cool and snowy bowy. All Saints. I know a lot of people like All Saints. Yeah, the uh, for stuff that's under $15 where it's like overpriced on the stuff and where it's stuff like people get a bunch of. Um, I do bags. I do like bags for people. So that way, if you don't get five pounds worth of stuff that, that this show, I'll, I can hold that bag for the next show. So like I'll do a show today and I'll do a show tomorrow. So instead of you having to cash out today and then cash out tomorrow and pay for a shipping label for both, when the things that you buy those two days would be five pounds or under, this way I can hold your bag for multiple shows until you have five pounds. And then I create a bundle that's got in the description. It's the listing of everything you bought. Sound good? Yes, definitely. Um, no, mentioning in the chat what, a, what you want me to show isn't going to really help today. Just so you know. Um, if you have specific things that you're looking for, Erin's drunk because she knows. Um, she knows better. If you're looking for anything specific, I need you to actually send me a message in the bundle area because I'm creating a booklet that'll have like, well, it's more, I've, I've had to go to a spreadsheet now because there's so many requests, but then that way, as I find things, um, like all the stuff that doesn't, didn't sell when I get ready to list that, I'll go through it first and see if anybody have requested those types of items. If not, then I'll go into the, when you have time list this stuff already. So, um, yeah, if you need me to ship immediately, then you need to let me know. Cause for the, hopefully now with like the new system, after seeing how the bag system works really good. Cause that I got stuff out really quickly. The thing that didn't work was when I was just putting names on like the bags and shoes because I still have like a couple things I'm trying to find from last week's show. So understand ahead of time, it's me. I'm disabled. This past week I had two doctor's appointments and, you know, I also do live shows showing all of you guys' stuff. Nothing of mine every Monday, Wednesday, Friday night. So I do have other stuff going and I want to get this stuff shipped as fast as possible. So please don't feel like I don't want to ship your stuff or I'm not doing anything. I, I literally been up every night till like midnight or two o'clock trying to get stuff, trying to get these orders out. So please understand if you want stuff immediately, you got to tell me and just, we're just going to run stuff for you and not even do the bags and all of that. Okay. Well, we'll do bags to try and get your stuff out right away. Okay. So do let me know ahead of time, not send me a message later and bitch at me about it being a week. And I'm like, I told you guys during the show, it's going to be a while. Okay. 
Yeah, so we try to help everybody out. So this is All Saints. Uh, what? I don't know what that. Do you guys know the other word that comes after All Saints? Spitter for the Verdata. I speak a bunch of language. Spirit Spiritual Fields. Ah, oh, now I understand it. So All Saints Spiritual Fields. This is Jack Place, London. It's a size 12, made in India. And so, so is anybody interested in this baby starting at $25? So size 12, but very oversized. $25. I gotta run it. So I shall run it, my Odessa, for you. For you. It shall be run. It shall be so. All right. Trying to be entertaining while also trying to type usually kind of sucks for me. Um, and I noticed no one was like, hey, uh, I went to try and watch your workout this morning and join in on that. And uh, you weren't there. So obviously no one tried to work out with me this morning. Yeah, definitely. That's why I'd rather like bundle, especially like stuff that, you know, you're only buying one or two things. So I like to do that. But like, uh, I don't know. Um, okay. So my Odessa. Uh, in the, is anybody else interested in this before I run it? Because I can just add it to her bundle for 25 if no one else is interested is anyone else interested in the all saints other than my odessa for 25 otherwise i'm just going to add it to her bag going once going twice okay my odessa you got it for 25 i'm gonna put that on here for you and add it to your bag All right, girl, you'll have to go. I'm throwing my pens on the floor. Okay, I know I just need my Odessa a bag. Is this the fact that I just need my Odessa? Yes, it does. All right, lady. Uh, my Odessa's got her bag going. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. All right. So if y'all want to see some more awesome things like that, we need less than 20 people for me to run the Gucci, the Gucci uh, slides. Oh, the baby's on the way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let's grab some stuff from over here. All right. Uh, I got... One coat that I think you guys won't mind me running. Anybody like spider? Anybody going on that church ski trip? Anybody going on that church ski trip? And you need a gorgeous spider ski jacket. Look at this baby. All kinds of the prettiness. Spada. Right and black. 130. Yay. Okay, and this is a size large. It is the Duramax EV lining option. And they remember this is a men's large. You've got your waistband, which keeps snow from going up in your, this is, I mean, it's skiing or snow, snowboarding. I think it's more of a snowboarder brand. So men snowboarder, you've got your your protection against the snow coming up. You've got your zipper pocket here. You've got a, there, there was a, you got a, not only does it have, so it's got like a thing to kind of hold out the snow and then your zipper pocket on the outside here. Then you've got the side pockets. Then they're also got that streamlined little flap cover on both sides. So yeah, going to that. Uh, this is a men's large. And it's got the double zipper going up. 
and your snap. Um, it doesn't have, it's got like the Velcro ball, but it doesn't have the inner like elastic one. All right. Lisa, are you the only one wanting it though? Anybody else interested besides Lisa? Because then Lisa, you don't have to like do anything. Uh, this will be uh, $35, Lisa. You feel good? You want it? You want it for $35? Because it's spider. Okay, so let me add this to Lisa's bag. And the resale on that, Lisa, after you go on your trip is about 65 to 100, depending. So, uh, and this is going to be 35 to Lisa. I'm trying to see like where you put your snow car. And it does have the hood in the back, Lisa. So, you know, this is a really good. So, you getting a couple coats for Montana? In there. Sorry, guys. Take a second. Just got to get my little tag on here because we had some issues with like this stick on tags not staying. We'll just wait. Oh, we know who it is and what it is and where it is and all that good stuff. All right, Lisa's bag getting full. I'll have to send you a box, Lisa. You're going to be boxing it like Raven. Raven's got a big old, you guys make fun of me on my big old boxes of uh, the giant size toilet paper. Yeah, Raven's already filled up one of those of stuff. So she's doing good. Good morning. Yes. Uh, if people keep hanging out, then yeah, this is actually short because the last two we did were 18 hours. So. You never know what we're going to find. Okay, so I've got a bin over here that has some shoes in it. If I can lift it without breaking my back. Okay, hold on. So these are nine, nine and a half. So please don't ask me for other sizes right now. I'm doing one bin at a time when I do shoes. And they will be, uh, yeah, the last one was 18 hours. So when I do shoes now, I do, I do try and divide up my shoes by size. So this is a nine to a nine and a half uh, bin. So if you are looking for specific sizes, send a message in the bundle and I'll let you know if I see anything. These are so cute. Okay. So this was, a, this, these are not nine and a half. I don't think these are ones that I found last night. These are Nike's. And these were $50 for me. So you guys know that we're going to have to start at at least 55. So we'll have to start at 55 and not still giving you guys a break on um, what I'm paying with the, the other. And I'm trying to get in here so we can see what size they are. These are Nikes and they're suede and leather with Sherpa lining and these are a, a lemon size seven uh does anybody want the branding number thingy yeah when i pull out a size i have men's and women's that size usually in the thing but this this one was one that i kind of threw in there um so size seven this is a canvas upsole and a really soft like I, i'm gonna i think it's new buck more than suede bottom and isn't this cool your little uh these are actually so cool to have so it's paracord right that gets wound together this is actually a survival thing to have anytime you have paracord you have basically you undo this you've got fishing line You've got things to tie yourself up into a tree if you're trying to make a tent or something. So that's why paracord bracelets are really big. So they look cool, but they're also survival gear. So there you go. 
Sherpa lining, really nice Sherpa lining. New buck front, We've got leather. Well, no, that's kind of feeling new buck too. They both kind of feel new buck. So you've got a gray new buck to the very front, and then your side wedge, you've got the black new buck, and then the canvas on this. And then this is also leather. You've got your speed lacers at the very top and then riveted lacers. And you've got your paracord going around the back. Sherpa lining, size seven. These are gonna start at $30, which is still a huge, yeah. So they're tri tricolor, snuggly, size seven, women's boots starting at $30. Nike, if anybody needs the, so they're Nike Air, S S F A F one. So Nike Ear S F A F one. And if anybody wants the number on them, let me know. Okay, so anybody is interested in Nike after all. Okay. Uh how about some metallic? And again, I think these are some of the ones that got mixed into the nine, nine and a half box because I was cleaning up around and found these. So kind of threw them in with that. So these have a zipper side and these are a U.S. size four. So really cute for a junior purple metallic kind of a reptilian stamp on them. Doc Martens, and these are also going to start at $30. If anyone is interested, let me know. Doc Martens, these are like new. Look, guys. Again, I can't call them new because I don't see tags on them, but they're definitely excellently used condition. If anything, they are new without tag, but I don't say that unless I have some indication that there was a tag removed recently, but there you go. I mean, they're, they're literally, look, there's not even dirt on the bottom guys. So $30 for a pair of Doc Martin purple metallic. Even if you want to get these just to flip them, you're already making a bunch of money. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Nobody interested in some Doc Martens today. I don't know. Are you guys awake and here? I don't know. Okay. Sorrel boots. Anybody like Sorrel? Sorrel. Another very high quality. You guys can see again, there's not even, there's like, there is somewhere on the hill. So these definitely have been used. So you can see here where it's kind of weird there. But otherwise, these are like, I mean, up here. It's, so this person was just a, a boot scooter. Like they scoot the back of the boot. So Sorrel, gorgeous leather boot. Size uh, eight and a half. Low heel Sorrel boots. You've got the elastic to slide in and we will start these also at $30 if anyone is interested eight and a half thirty dollar Sorrel eight and a half Sorrel boots thirty dollars Next up, we have some less expensive shoes since uh, that seems to be an issue today. Um, this does have a broken heel tab. Yeah, so this one has a broken heel tab. I don't know if you guys have heel tabs in your uh, repair thing. I do uh, normally, but I don't have them that are this thick because this is a kind of a thicker one. Um, I mean, they're still functional, but you've got a little bit of a ledge there. And these are 
Dolce by Pierre, nine and a half. Footbed is about, uh, what? I don't even know what I was talking about. Black satin round toe. Uh, gives some really cute toe cleavage. Three and a half inch heel. And let me show you what I mean by toe cleavage. See how it's got like that kind of V right there? That gives you a little toe cleavage. Yes, toe cleavage. It's a real thing, guys. Toe cleavage. The Dolce Round Toe, eight and a half or three and a half inch heel. These are size nine and a half. Make sure. Those on heel. And uh, these can go on, if anyone's interested, they can go in your bag for five dollars because they do need new hill tops, which, you know, you can go to any cobbler and buy hill tops. Anybody interested for $5? Nope. Okay. And again, anything like under $15, you can just tell me, or if there's only one person interested, then we'll just go ahead and put it into your bundle. Um, that way. Okay. So now this is going to be, this might be a five pounder guys. So this is a vintage Fred Hyman Beverly Hill, and it is silk that is beaded, vintage, gorgeous, super heavy, guys, and it's, I might actually be able to put this one on. It looks uh, larger. This is great. You can wear this. I have, like, some black tutus um, that are great for wearing with these uh, vintage beaded tops because it gives you that princess effect um so fred Heyman, beverly hills 100 percent silk um size small so maybe i won't be able to try it it didn't feel that oh okay i'll do it this way instead of actually trying to put it on yeah yeah i would not have fit my shoulders by any stretch of the imagination but there you go. You can at least kind of see what it would look like. Yes, Sandy Blue Eyes. I see you yelling at me. What do you need, baby? Um, let me see. I didn't see any in the bag, which is a good sign. There's none missing here, but it looks like there's a little bit of the thread came up, but I don't see any missing beads there. Yeah, I mean, I see a couple places where it looks like the tie off of the string has come out of the bead, like where it's tied off, but then like it'll get like a little where it's tied off. You can see there's like a little they kind of tuck it into the bead usually. Mm -mm, oh. Okay, it looks like we may have two here missing. Right there, it looks like there's two that are missing. And I don't know if there's, yeah, and then one, two, three, four. And then four missing from this line. And then we got another line here that's missing. One, two, three, four, five. So you're missing probably about 12 overall. You want the shoes and the pink docks. You mean purple docks? And the, you mean the uh, black shoes, the $5 shoes, these guys, the docks for 35 and these for five. Okay, perfect. I will, let me add those. Okay, are you still interested, a uh, person that was wanting to know about missing beads? Pass, all right. No problem. Yeah, it is harder to find replacement beads sometimes when you're dealing with vintage. Um, so, I mean, unless you do a lot of vintage uh, repairs um, or you buy a lot of vintage like I do, uh, 
and this is like a three color so it's a popper so yeah so i'll probably have to find those beads and add them in like go and find some and repair it and this thing is kind of big heavy heavy the good thing about those beads is it was kind of hard to see okay so marley's got the docks for 35 and I have to remember to put Marley Hope because I sent a message to a regular Marley and she probably still is trying to figure out what the heck I was talking about when I was like, here's the items that you bought. <laughs> so, there's that. And then so those already have paper on them so I can write five dollars on that and Marley did I already start you another bag girl I don't think I started you a new bag let me start you another bag all right and then put Marley's five dollars on here five dollar five dollar so this is great too, you know, so like if Marley didn't get five pounds worth of stuff today, um, even though she's getting some stuff that's over $15, we can still add this together because Marley comes all the time. So that way she can build up her bag until it's at least five pounds and then we can cash, cash you guys out. So that's kind of why I like doing it this way. It also is helping me drastically help because the stuff that I had in bags last time, that was like so smooth getting it out. The stuff that I didn't put in bags last time, I'm still trying to find. So be aware, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to learn from my mistakes each week and get the process going a little bit better and smoother. And so you guys aren't having to wait so long for stuff, but like the last two sales, you guys were, y'all were getting stuff given away. And I'm just going to be frank and up front here. Hold on. Let me put Marley Sam on here. Just so you know how, how people miss out sometimes. So, last week, uh, one girl had bought um, the egg, the egg shoes. You guys remember the egg shoes? The egg boots? Okay. Well, she got the ass at me about uh, how long it was taken. And she was saying that she had won the prize. And I was like, well, the prize was for people that, it, there were two people that spent $72, right? And she's like, well, this was a big investment. And I'm like, you just got $695 shoes and a bunch of other stuff for $72. I'm like, you know what? I just told her, I'm like, I don't want to upset you. Uh, this is uh, my collagen and Kinko. I'll show you guys. Let me grab one. Okay. So this is a different flavor than what I got in here. But this is Kinko. And it's like dehydrated fruits and vegetables. So I put three of those in. And I try and do it overnight because then that lets it... Uh, get better but I put three of those and then I put my uh, co uh, collagen in here I probably should be putting my uh, my energize in here today too okay so Kinko if you want to know about it I think I might have it on my link tree if not let me know because I think I have a uh, an affiliate link thingy for that but anyway so I just said, you know, I'm really sorry because I am sorry. It is taking a long time. It's just me. And I had over 350 items, individual items, and I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm going to tell y'all flat out. I screwed up when I went in that leather room and I just started writing names on tags because now I'm missing some items. There's some people that are like, it's okay. We'll send it anytime. But so Malia, yes. Definitely. I'm trying, girl. I love you. You're so nice. I do have your bag already here. I'm just looking for two pairs of shoes, I think, for you. Yeah. And that's what I was kind of hoping as I go through here, I can find. 
but she's got a pair of Prada sandals and a pair of um, Vince Camudos that we're still trying to find and hopefully we'll find if we go in there. So that was kind of why I'm doing them. Yeah. So, and you don't know what I'll find when I'm finding. But the big thing is I've learned from this mistake of like my girl, <laughs> Malia, there's like, uh, can you find those two pairs of shoes and get my damn bag going? But she, everything else is there, Malia. We're just trying to find those two pairs of sandals. And I think I know where they might be. But we're going. Okay. So, but this girl was really mad. It wasn't fair that I wasn't giving her the prize. Because somebody said during the show that she had won. And I was like, there were two people that had $72. Those were the high. It's not fair. I've had to wait a week. I was like, you know what? I am so sorry. I'm just going to cancel the order. So I canceled the order. Hauled ass up to the post office. Because her thing actually made it to the post office. Grab her bag back from the post office before it makes the truck. Get home. Relisted those egg boots. And within three hours, I sold them for $125. So if you uh, are I just, we're going to be inappropriate earlier for a second. Okay. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> but it was, it, it kind of pissed me off because I am trying so hard, guys. I gave, I was giving away, I've lost money right now. So please understand that. I'm not just trying to blow smoke up you guys' ass. Y'all know what we're going through and all of that. And I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to just make back what I put into stuff. And I'm good. I'll make you small. Yeah, I, I was giving shit away. And then you're going to bitch about it. So, and, and honestly, guys, if for those of you that are still waiting on items, um, I can also cancel the order and ship you what I do have, like redo the order with just the stuff that you do have. And then when I find those items, they are yours. Okay. So don't think that if I cancel because something's missing that you're going to lose out on it if I find it later. Okay. So especially those of you that have been putting up with my bullshit for a while. Um, liquid, I haven't even redone yours yet. I've got your pile over here. Um, okay, these are J. Crew, so these are going to be another pair of five dollar add to if anybody wants them. Nine and a half, um, faux leather J. Crew ballet slippers. Anybody want those? Me, Malena, Malena. Melena looks like she's going to get on. Okay, Melena, do you want a bag or are you not sure on how much stuff you're going to get? Because the not sure on how much we get. I've got bins in there for alphabetical. Thirsting bin, uh, you're probably working on your second bag, to be honest. This is your, you. Okay, where's my thirsting I've got a box over here, thirsting bin. Oh no, that's Lisa's bar box. Uh, where's the There yeah. Maybe your bag's over here. I know you're you're pretty close uh, to 10 pounds, but we'll see. So I'm glad. Okay. Um, we, you guys talk. Okay. Uh, Melina, do you want a bag started or just throw it at? Okay, I'll start you a bag. And I have various sizes of bags too. So if you don't think you're going to do much, very much, we have the small bag. We have the drug, ginormous bag. Then we have the medium bag, which is about the tall bag. And medium. Raven right now. <laughs> already because I made, I had to move all her stuff into a box. She's got a medium and a large empty bag waiting for her to add in. Okay, so medium bag, you think? Medium or large? What you thinking, girl? I'll start you on a medium. Perfect. All right. 
So let's get you in here. I got to make sure I spell your name right. Because then when I look up people's names, I had it like all kinds of crazy. And then I couldn't figure out who it was. I was having to do all kinds of like crazy acrobatics to figure out who was who. All right. So you are spelled correctly. And these are going to be $5. And So hopefully this will make shipping this week go a lot faster and we won't have any more issues with stuff having to wait, orders having to wait for stuff. Um, all right, so you are in, put you right there. Okay, next up, moss shoes, moss shoes. Everybody wants some shoes. What do we got in here? We got 38. We were almost to 50, guys. We were almost to the Gucci sandals, and then people left. So, y'all better get people in here. Y'all want them Gucci slides to show. Okay, these are Charles Jordan Paris, and they're like, it's like a straw woven. They're so pretty. These are so crazy pretty. You're at the coffee shop managing, but she wants more. So these are 9M means uh, it's a normal width. So if you don't know, M and B is normal width. So size 9, normal width, Charles Jordan. And people are saying, y'all want some spring and summer. But well, here you go, right here. Um, needs a hilltop. So yeah, so both of these need hilltop. It's like 10 bucks at the cobbler. So we're going to do these since they have a little boo-boo. We're going to do these for $10. So look at the weaving on these. So $10. They just need some hilltops on them. Size 9, anyone interested? $10. Charles Jordan Paris. Okay, um, I am doing one bin at a time. I have my bins uh, set by size. So we did do a couple small ones that I had kind of out and about, but uh, I will be happy to grab some other size bins after we get through some of these. Okay, if you are looking for specific things, a great thing to do is send me a message in my bundle area and then that Wait, I can add you to my list of my spreadsheet. Okay, so no one's looking for size uh, nine Charles Jordan for ten dollars. Put those up there because they need pill tops. All right, Steve Madden, Steve Madden. This is gonna be a five dollar if anybody wants these guys, um, because they're a faux leather um, size. So these are Steve Madden. Uh, Breathe leather, I guess is what it's called. Breathe leather sandals, two and a half to one inch wedge. So we go from two two inches to one inch wedge platform. Buckle strap, a brown faux cork on the platform, and these are a nine. So five dollars if anybody wants them added. It looks like Molina wants them added to hers. I shall add that to your bag. Something is like slowly falling. You know, you hear that sound where it's like. It's slowly sliding. I think it's the bags over here. Okay, we're going to put her bag right there. Double check. I got it on there right back. Molina. All right. Molina, you might be the only size nine in the crew here. Uh, there's the Sorrells. Nobody wanted the Sorrells, right? Um, and then those are the Nike SF 
AF ones. And then these have their own bag. So these will come with this dust bag. Awesome. Okay, so these are really cool. And remember that I do have like men's and women's. I just do it by the size. So these are a US 10 and a half, um, my guess, men's. Um, so, and they are 10 and a half. It is Way of Wade. Way of Wade announcement. They're so cool. I love the little spotted down here. And these are going to start at $25. Way of Wade announcement. Size 10 and a half men's. You asked 10 and a half. I mean, they're a little dirty on the bottom, but they're not like really rubbed anywhere. And it's Biggs Lil's Data Union Wade. So, and they are signed. Does anybody know who we have Wade is? Probably something expensive that I should have remembered what they were when I looked them up. Dwayne Wade. Okay, cool. So basketball players. So uh, $30 for these is like, uh, there's a very, very cheap, right? Basketball players, shoes, way of Wade, Dwayne Wade, 10 and a half, or are the rapper. Dwayne Wade is a rapper for basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's got the other things on there. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. So who we got now? Oh. We have... I don't know if I should do these now. How many people we got in here? Okay, we got 40. I'll go ahead and do them. These are definitely not nine or nine and a half. They can't be. They might be. But they sure don't look like it. Hold on. So, Dion von Furstenberg. Yes, these are nines. Made in Brazil. Let me see if I got my tag on here. Have everything. No. Okay. Dion von Furstenberg. Look at the wedge on that. These are size nines. Suede, black suede, high mule. Gorgeous, gorgeous, size nine, DBF. And these are going to start at $35. So is anyone interested? If there's only one person interested, you get it at $35. I saw a me, so that's Closet Ra. So Ra, you might have just walked away with these for $35. Diane von Furstenberg, gorgeous. All right, Closet Ra, they are yours for $35. And we're starting you another, starting you another bag. And closet, I actually had to cancel her order because I couldn't find a pair of shoes. Then I found the pair of shoes. So now these are going to get added all together with those other two pairs of shoes, girl. So now you've got one shipping price now for all of your shoes going on. See, now aren't you glad that I've canceled even though you didn't want me to? Yes. I knew. I knew you were going to want stuff. All right, so I thought I had a box going for you and not a bag. Maybe I have a bag. So. You find your bag. That's Marley Pope. Make sure you're in here. Yes. Okay, there is the PG person. Clear resells. There is closet of raw bag. Girl. I'm gonna have to start another 
it might be in there, but I'm going to start you another bag just to be sure it falls over off. I thought it was over here in this corner, but I don't see it now. But I know I got three pairs of shoes for you. I think they're in a box, actually. Maybe another room in the box. But at least I know they're together now. Because I was so excited when I found them. No, no, no. I do know where they are. They're in the bag. They're not in that bag. in the bag itself, the black bag. Okay, I know what I'm looking for now, because I had them all in, in your black bag. This box. Yeah. The put that to the side. Now I need to put your name on here. So yeah, so you have the black purse and then you have the three pairs of shoes, or two pairs. The Jimmy Choo's and the, um, oh, the Gucci's. All right, here we go. Plus this rock. Okay. There we go, Aaron. Okay. I got to catch up on this one, see what you guys are talking about. I'm hungry. Yes, the Amy pencil rag. That's what I got your two pairs of shoes in it. Oh, uh, somebody got kicked out. Okay. She was found someone to work with. Why are you being a butt? Chip. No. Do y'all, have y'all ever heard a Yorkie with that kind of a bark? That's why he's a Godzilla Yorkie big dog bark. Oh, yep, that's my that's my Godzilla Yorkie. He's a hundred percent too. I did the DNA test on him. He's even like related to like these show dogs. Okay, Cole Hahn, a driving shoes. Um I think these are faux leather. Well, no, inside that. It might be real leather. Hold on, let me see if I can find a mark to ensure that they are. The inside, the back at least, but I'm going to have to call, I'm going to call them faux just because I'm not sure that they may actually be real leather. Because it's not giving me an ingredient information. Anybody know where Koha puts their ingredients information? Real mean and cheap thought. Oh, 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 yeah. I, I just kind of bypassed that whole. Well, these are hand sewn in here too. Those are hand stitched. So this is probably leather. As you can see inside, that's like things to look for. These are things to look for, like when you're trying to figure out um, like quality. So you see um, that's hand stitching on the inside. So, and you've got the, the like kind of the suede backing. The problem I hate with Quahans, and this is where you like get into that thing where you're not positive, is because a lot of the a lot of the designers that they're they're like moderate range things they use this like backing stuff over the leather inside and it's the stuff that if it gets hot or a lot of moisture it starts peeling off i'm sure a lot of you guys have gotten um a lot of those yes uh, a lot of those shoes where the stuff started peeling out so blaine wade Yes, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and you got hand stitching around here too. So, yeah, these are definitely real leather. Um, just imprinted. So, real leather, uh, Cole Haan, size 9, driving shoes. 
anyone interested for $15. Yes, I, I know. I, it was just when it didn't have the G on the end or when it didn't have the extra N in there. I'm not getting canceled. Um, so it looks like Malia wants these by herself. And I said 15, right? You guys have to help me out sometimes. 15? Or did I say 10? I can't remember if I said 10 first. I think I said 15. Yes. Okay, so Melina getting on for 15. I I should have got you a big bag, girl, because you're doing some shopping. Oh. <laughs> she's like, she's shopping. She's here for it. A2909. Okay, guys, get back up to 45 and I'll pull something out of the fancy pants bag. Fancy pants bag if we get up to 45. But we're not doing the Gucci until we get 50. Just so you know. You want you want the Gucci uh slides to run? We need 50. So we need a nine more people if you guys want to see the Gucci slide that are in the box. They're not new in box, but they're in the box too. All right. I think I'll put you right down. Yes. All right there. All right. And next up, did we get 45? We're there, we're like that close guys. We need two more people and we're gonna pull something from one of the expensive bins. Okay, we're at 44. I'm going to like slowly start walking over here towards the expensive. We just need one more. Oh, we lost one. Oh, you guys should hunt down whoever left. You monster. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pull up. Oh, 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 here. We just need one more. Oh, we got it. 45. All right, so look what we Pulled out of the fancy schmance bin. Diane von Christenberg. Corduroy. Embroidered. Laser. This is uh, size 8. And it is 95% uh, 90, cotton, 4% elastine. That must be 96, unless there's a missing 1% somewhere. Yeah, it's 96. I was like, mystery, 1%. Size 8. Look how cute this is, guys. So it is, it's it's that same thing again where it kind of has that corduroy texture, but it's it's the weave. It's not actually corduroy. And then look at these beautiful embroidered sleeves. Size 8. We need 50 to see the Gucci. So we're getting close to the Gucci, guys. So gorgeous embroidered sleeve. And we're going to start this at $35, guys. Diane von Furstenberg, size 8. Embroidered cotton jacket. Isn't this gorgeous? $35 for Diane von Furstenberg, guys. Come on. You could flip this so much. Megan is saying, I want it. Megan, nobody else is saying they want it. So I guess uh, you're going to get it for $35 added to your bag. And I got to start another bag for you. Megan, getting her bag. Getting her bag going. Thought I dollars. Megan. Oh, it's Mega. I'm calling you Megan. It's Mega Pint Posher, right? Mega Pine Posher. That was who it was, right? Yeah. I might need a pint. Yeah. All right. We got your bag on. We got our little tag. So uh, shipping is going to be so much easier.
All right. And I'm keeping my pens right there, so they're going to be good. Let me flip that on here. Yes, so I am really sorry, guys, for how bad shipping has been from last week. Again, learning from my mistakes. That's why we're taking the time to make sure, because it'll go faster if we spend a little bit of time while I am showing you guys stuff. If we take that little bit of time now, that means it goes faster for me to get it shipped to you so you can get your goodies. And you know what? We're at 48. So you know what? My phone is right here. My phone's right here. What do you need? Because what we're fixing to do, you guys. Yes. And, and I actually have the door open because it's cool and it's cooler outside than it is inside. We got 50. So you know what I'm going to pull out now? Uh -huh. Yes, we are. We're going to pull them out because I promised you guys at 50. Gucci. So these are Gucci size 8 sandals. It is a denim a GG Nero 2.5 inch kitten heel slide signature in the box. And you guys can see all the information there on the box. These are not new in the box. They're size 8. So they can just be, you know, you can do the edge dressing. The tops are fine. I mean, you may want to replace them at some point, but they're not horrible. But look how cute they are. It's the denim. So it's a black denim. GG. Gucci. Slides. Size uh, 8B, which is a uh, regular width. Gucci made in Italy. Okay, so $45, guys, is what we're going to start. Gucci, size 8, $45. Um, sure. Would you like me to sell you some used toothbrushes? You probably don't want to know what I use to clean them with. So, $45. Gucci. I'll sell them a used toothbrush, but it's going to be the, the toothbrush I use to clean my drains and sinks and stuff with. You know. I don't know if they're trying to mess with me or they think. Does anybody want these? Does anybody want them? I can't believe you guys waited all this time to see these Gucci slides. And now nobody wants them for $45? Are you kidding me? In the box? Kemps, are you saying yes, you want them? Or yeah, nobody wants them? If you're the only person, if you were saying that yes, you want them, and you're the only person showing interest, you got them for $45. Melvin, I'm going to have to block you, baby, because you're annoying the piss out of me right now. There we go. Annoying. Okay. Bye, Melvin. Sucker turd. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Kemp's, you're, you, it looks like you're the only person interested, so you got them for $45. Let me find the lid. So, you see how easy that was? You got them for $45. You didn't even have to fight with anybody for them because nobody else wanted them. That's what happens. So, there you go. So, I don't think, I think you, I'm pretty sure you don't have a, uh, a thing going on, a bin going on yet. Uh, do you want me to start you a bag, Kemps? Yeah, I just blocked them. Yes. Okay, cool. So, she's got a $20 credit. So, she's actually getting these for, what did we start? Like, 40 $45, so you're actually getting them for $25. So I don't forget, I'm going to actually put it at $25. Okay, so let me grab you a bag, Kim. Kim. So yeah, that was something that we did on the last show. We gave out a credit. 
there's somebody that got uh, something, and then there's been a couple people that have wanted to trade off some things, or like uh, the very first show when uh, <laughs> I sent stuff to the wrong person. Let me make sure I got the name written on here properly. Counts. But maybe we'll do that today. Like, uh, if we reach 100 people, um, I will do a random draw. Of, and um, I'm trying to think how we can do random draws in here. Um, just like, I'll have everybody say here in the chat at that time. So that way I've got like names in, row, in a row. And like, we have 100 people. And then I'll just do a random number generator, one to a hundred. And if everybody does their stuff correctly and doesn't double enter, anybody that double enters will be automatically disqualified because we've got to have a hundred people. So we'll have everybody, when we have a hundred people, we'll have everybody put their name one time or just say here, we'll just say here. Everybody say here one time and then we'll do a random number generator and I'll give somebody a $25 gift card, you know, basically $25 towards your future purchases since they don't really do gift cards on here. We can do them ourselves. We have the technology, right? We find workarounds. We even have a panel, okay? We even have panels on our night show, our Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday show that's showing your stuff. I have it set up so that we ha can have up to 10 people that are showing. So instead of just my mug, what you see over there is a panel of up to 10 people. And if you want to share your item, we make you big and you can actually present your item, even though you don't have live selling capabilities. I don't know why none of y'all come into my shows because that's all about you guys. That's your turn to show your stuff. And we only got like 30 people that come, you know, other people just talking themselves, showing their stuff. And y'all got 150, 300 people over there. I'm showing your stuff. You can go up there and actually show your stuff yourself and present it. I don't know why y'all don't want to come. Okay, so these are size 40. Paula, Paula Prata, Vera Pell, which, which means real leather. So these are real leather, patent leather. So you can have patent leather that is made out of leather and patent leather that's made out of plastic. These are Vera Pell. That means it's patent leather made out of real leather gorgeous little ankle strappy size 40 where's my bigfoot girls and this is really cool so it's pink navy and black so let me get the light on there so you guys can see it's color blocked pink navy and black so it's going to go with a whole bunch of stuff we'll we'll go down and look at a bin of dresses later um, but right now I have, uh, there may be some dresses mixed in with, uh, the stuff that's up here. Um, the majority of the stuff we're working on right now, stuff up in the house, we'll get downstairs to some other clothes later. We will have some of that stuff. So is anyone interested in our Paola Prata real Italian leather, patent leather, and we have pink blue or well navy and black and we will start these at twenty dollars so gorgeous condition only a little bit of slight rubbing here your tip is in great condition twenty dollars guys for these gorgeous size 40 that's like a 10 nine and a half ten Nobody wanting to go fancy dancing. I mean, come on, guys. This is this says Valentine's. This alone. You don't have to have anything else. You just put these babies on, walk out of the bathroom. Valentine's happiness. Okay, so nobody wants our 
Paul, Paula, 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 poor Paula. All right. Uh, how about some dance goes? Well, these are kind of. Uh, these need a touch up. So, does anybody know how to do the edge dressing touch ups on dance goes? Because it just needs the edge dressing touch up right there. Um, right there. So just two spots that need the edge dressing touch talk touch up and a good cleaning size 40 dance goes. Anybody interested? Let's do our heel twist. All good. Anybody interested in some 40s dance goes? Oh wait. Oops, sorry. All right. Okay, it looks like I missed something, some stuff. So did anybody say um sitting down shoes as my grand called them? Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay. Quite the, okay, so Marley, was your yeah on the dance goes or on the um heels, the Paula? Sorry, for some reason I fell behind. Okay, so you're interested in the dance goes. So a dance goes for you got to edge dress them so twenty dollars. Yes, twenty dollars for some dance goes. You just got to throw some edge dressing on there. Yes. Okay. Is anybody going to challenge Marley because she's about to take them for twenty dollars? They're yours. There you go, Marley. Marley, twenty dollars. It's really hope right. Okay, so I know I got a bag started for you, Marley Hope. down here and help me run these shows. I pay in products to see now. Oh, there you are. I knew I had you. Oh, they have. Don't want to drop my girl closet of rock. Okay. Uh, how many people we got? Because I think we might have. Uh, we dropped down. But I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. We don't have 50 people, but I'm still going to do it. Giorgio Armani. Trench coat. This is a size 38. Made in Hong Kong. Do you guys remember what made in Hong Kong means? Vintage because it's pre-1997 when it went back to China. So 100% cotton, Giorgio Armani, made in Hong Kong, vintage trench coat, size 38, Euro 38. I'm not sure what that is in the U.S. if anybody wants to look it up. So you got an inner pocket down here. Oh my God, this thing is like quilted all soft. It does have buttons for a button in lining, but it does not have, oh wait, no. Yeah, so it has uh, buttons for button and lining, but it doesn't have it. But this thing's like already really puffy. Um, so it's like really thick. And uh, I'm assuming this is a men's 38. And so we've got the double breasted button in here. We've got like the little clippies here. Yeah, this is a men's 38. And I just. I'll just do the outside and then I'm going to step back so you guys can see how long it is on my five foot five inches. I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't even know how, I mean, you must be looking for super winter if you even put a lining in this because it's like already nicely padded. Okay. I don't know that this is sexy for Valentine's Day, 
but it's Giorgio Armani vintage. And if your man likes a good trench and he likes to be impressive, you got here. Hopefully you guys can still see decently when I'm out here. So it is coming to my ankles. And I'm five foot five. So a normal human being, it would probably come mid half, especially for a man. So can y'all see better when I go all the way out there and hit the light? I'm so cute. Aw, honey. Did some underwear from Penny and heels from Holly. Okay, so is anybody interested? Oh, wait. Oh, by the way, your authentication. This one is $40. $40 for a vintage a Giorgio Armani trench coat. And it looks like Barley Hope is getting it for $45 or $50. No, $50. $50. All right. Marley Hope, $50 taken. The Giorgio Armani and um, your authentications in the pocket, Marley. But $50. I'm going to have to get Marley a box like I got Raven last time. All right. You are going to make this shipping go much faster this time. We are making sure that we can do this faster. And by doing this way, also, like if there's only one person interested, then that way I'm building you guys' bags. And um, if you don't get five, five pounds worth um, today, then we'll just add to your bag tomorrow. If you still don't have five pounds, We'll add to your bag the next time. So I'm going to keep these bags for you guys until you have uh, five pounds. And then we will cash you out. So that way, you know, you guys aren't having to pay. Although, Marley, I think you're right about pub pubs already. So you'll probably get uh, cash out today. Um, yes, Marley has a promise on the way. Yay, you guys got some promise. Um, Marley's gonna pass on the clogs. Okay. Already put these in or no? Already put them in here. The dance goes, you mean? Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking the dance goes out of Marley. See, that makes it easier too. So you didn't buy something and then have to try and cancel it afterwards. Thinking. Occasionally it works. Occasionally my thinking works. Okay, so, and that's the other thing, like I said, she changed her mind. We were able to pull it out. No problem. All right, so next up. Uh, I'm going to do another pair of shoes. Oh, no, this already did those. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So excited. Coach. Who likes some coach sneakers? These are the Barnet Bennett, I bet. Usually these are the Bennett or the Barnet. I can't remember what the name is. I think they're Bennett Barnet. And this is making me think that I get scammed. Okay, these are probably not real. They don't have the name in them. Um, they do look like they might be the outlet. So that's where the dance goes were. Yeah. Did you want those? Um, I, I'm going to check on these coach because I'm used to coach Barnett's how they look, but it's got a different thing on the bottom. So they're either fake or they are outlet. Oh, yeah. It did not. Oh, I didn't send it to you. Okay, I'll send it in a minute. Okay, so these are uh, Muse and Cloud. They are made in Spain. Leather. 
The dance guys are 20 or 29, I think. Hold on. Yeah, hearts and links. They were 20. You want those added to your little bundle? The size is 40. 40 dance guys for $20. Okay, so liquid chicken is taking these. So let me change that out. Let me find where did the other one go right now? See, that's why we need to put them in bags, Holly. Okay. Chicken. All right, so I'm gonna put these down here with chicken's other bag. So that's right there. Okay, so these are Spanish hoose on cloud. They are a leather laser cut, fun little platform sneaker. And let me see, the size is 40, made in Spain. Anyone interested in these for $25? Puss and Puss and Cloud. They're a little dirty on the bottom. Just hit that, you guys. Oh, Moose and Cloud. Oh, thank you. Because I thought these. No, it can't be Moose because it's H. It's maybe it's Coos. It's a U S S E. I swear it's Moose. M U S S E. It's Moose or Hoose? And cloud. Let me see what the other one says. If it's moose, it's M. -U. Yeah, so you're right. It's moose and cloud just spelled different. There we go. Size 40. A 40 is like a nine and a half ton. Moose and cloud. These are made in Spain. They're dirty, but I'm going to show you guys right now. Because y'all like when I show y'all tips. So here we go. We're going to grab some grandma's sneaker cleaner right here. And a diaper. Always have diapers, guys. Diapers are your friends. If you look with, oh, we almost took out the light again. Okay, so Grandma Sneaker Cleaner. Grandma Spot Cleaner, also excellent. It's me saying put it in her bag. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I'm doing a tutorial here. Okay, y'all see how dirty. And plus, you would get your, you would get them clean. It helps if I turn it on. It's me. She's having a bit on me. So, y'all see how dirty. I'm not even scrubbing. You see, it's already starting to come off. Grandma sneaker cleaner. I'm going to let it sit there for a second. Kind of sit in there. And like normally for something like this, she would also use like a scrubby, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how good it works with just a basic rub. So y'all see the difference there. You definitely want to get Grimace, Grimace Seeker Sneaker Cleaner. Calling you right now. It works great. I normally will use, like I have a scrubby with it, but I just wanted to show you like how much, just wiping. Y'all see all the dirt it got off? Just two little wipes. Dawn is good. Um, the, usually Dawn is more on um, like with grease. When you have grease stains. Just dirt this grandma's uh, sneaker cleaner. I really like it because you can just wipe. And you don't have to go back and rinse. Especially if you have something that's got a leather upper. Where you don't want to have to risk getting it wet um i prefer something like this because when you're using dawn you're gonna have to go back and rinse it so um sure grandma sneaker cleaner you can find it on um all the grandma stuff you can find it on amazon that's where i get it no i don't nobody wants to talk to me but i mean 
Dawn is really good. Like if you have sneakers where they've got like uh, gum and like sticky stuff and oil, anything with like an oil on it, you definitely want to use Blue Dawn because that's where like in the um, in the uh, reseller secret stuff, the, the mixture that you're making is basically to fight different types of stains. So your Blue Dawn is getting your greases, your oils, your skin oil, stuff like that out. And that's what you want the Blue Dawn for. The hydrogen peroxide is getting out your protein. So blood, um, some of the oils too with your skin, um, like some food stains are protein based, like meat stain, meat juice stain, stuff like that. Then you've got your whiteners, which I use Borax and um, the Arm & Hammer Laundry Boost. Some people instead just use basic uh, baking soda. And that's going to be your brightener. That's like brightening those things. So I'm not cleaning them all the way. I was just, I mean, if I was going to clean them, clean them, I have the brush. Out. I just wanted to show everybody a big difference just with a couple wipes, not even pulling out the scrubby. All right, so we try, I try, I'm trying. Okay, where's your other shoe now? See, this is why I have to put the tags on them. So we did these for 25, right? Is that what we did these for, 25? No, these are Moose and Cloud, M-U-S-S-E and Cloud. If anybody else wants them, then we will run them otherwise. Our start is 25 and right now, oh, 15. Okay. Well, then our start right now is 15. So if anybody else wants to, I thought I said 25. It's me trying to, trying to get 10 bucks off of me. She don't love me. So I'm going to take all your money, homie. Okay. I thought I said 25 and she was trying to get me. Okay. So $25, Moose and Cloud, Spanish size 10 40 so if anybody else is interested speak now or it's me gets to sell them for 25 dollars when she was trying to lie to me and said there were 15 trying to it's me i don't know girl all right so it's me didn't you already get something did i start i don't think i started a bag for you it's me Yes, because you just got the dance coast. Oh, I just, no, that was liquid chicken that got the dance coast. Never mind. It's me, $25. Moose and cloud. 40s. Okay, it's me trying to rip me off, man. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. It's me. As much as your artwork as I have sold on my show. Everybody, that it's me, but we love her anyway, and she's a great artist, so everybody go check out her artwork if you want some wonderful art for your wall. Okay. It's me. You only got one thing last time, so you want a medium bag? I'm going to do a medium bag for you instead of a large bag, because you only got one thing last time. But she likes it, so that's good. She got a vintage artist bag. And she sold that one too. So I don't know why she's trying to rub me now. Because she got she walked away with that bag cheap, 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 cheap. And it's money, 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 money. All right. Oh, here we go. So it's me with her partially clean shoes. It's like to go. It's me. I think you're the only it's me, even if you have numbers. I know who you are, and I know where you are. I know who and where you are. All right, so next up, we're almost done with this nine and nine and a half. So I will go. I think there's a bin of sixes that are near the top that I could get without killing myself. We'll see. Okay, so these are. Damn, guys, these are like new. Again, I can't say they're new, but I mean, I'm seeing like the slightest scuff. 
right there. There's like nothing on here. These are made in Italy. And it is Lorbaca. I know I looked this up and it was like, they were like $200, $300 shoes for the most part, this stuff. So this is suede. You have color block suede. So you got like a tan in the front and dark brown on the side. You've got your heel is also covered. Gorgeous shoe. Like I said, I see one little stuff right here on this top and it doesn't even look like it's from wearing it. So excellent use condition size forties. These are a great shoe for everything. I mean, you can wear this. This is a career wear shoe. This is a shoe that you can wear out on, on a nice date night. Gorgeous shoe. And these are going to start at 20, $20. Classic, exactly. Size 40. 20. Size 40. No, sorry. Um, the 41s will probably be in my 10 boxes. So, you know. So, $20. Color block suede. Light new. Thick. Nice, chunky heel. $20, guys. They're like new. Anybody. Okay, hearts and bling. You're saying you want them so badly. Does that mean that you're, you are calling dibs if nobody else is in on them? No, you just wish you could. Okay. Um, no, well, we're doing nine to nine and a half, but there were some uh, 39 mixed in that. Okay, anybody? Hearts and bling. We'll, we'll find some tons soon. I know there's tons in the leather room. Okay, so nobody wanting these beautiful shoes for twenty dollars, people. All right, we're down two plus two. Um, okay, now we got some coach, and these should be the bare high tops, and these are the bird. What's the name on this? So this is why I need, I'm pretty sure those are fakes because this is where um, Coach puts their information. So these are the Birch size nine. These are so fun, guys. They've got an embroidered Coach C, and it's actually like done so it's given three dimensional on there. Super cute. So you've got the black and kind of tannish gray and then if you want to fold them down like a lot of people fold them down and like even flip that front now you got like this cute color that's on there so these are size nine a birch it birches the model on the coach these are authentic correct and these are going to start at $20 if anybody's interested. I know, hard simply, I promise you I have tons around here somewhere. The Closet of Raw. Oh, wait. Do we have a couple people interested? It looks like we got a couple people, so we're going to run them. Battling it out. Okay, remember, everybody get your game face on. It's the game face. Because it's going to be a battle to the yeah. And then plus two, whoever wins that uh, that shipping label can go on your five pounds of other stuff. Ah! So, yeah. all right. So I am going to add this right now. Everybody's getting their game face on. So we got the coach. Birch. Size nine. Sneaker beakers. Category women's shoes. Everybody. Size nine. Okay, ladies. Everybody get the game face on. Go. Go. Auction. Sir, $20 for 60 seconds. And go. Go. 
go, 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 go. Don't you wait till that last second. You keep that bitch face on. And you do it. You go for it. Go for it. Come on, guys. Let's see you go for it. And you know what? We're almost to 50, so I can pull an expensive thing out again. Oh, 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 we got a battle royale. Everybody's got their game face on. There we go. Coach. Adorableness. The birch. These are the birch. We got the jacquard. The embroidered. Three dimensional. See? Inside, cute and cuddly colors. Excellent, excellent. Very, uh, still in that Chuck Taylor styling on there. Really nice shape, guys. I have no idea what the hell that noise is outside. Hello, welcome. I'm not adorable. No, okay, so. Our winner was Closet Raw. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Closet Raw. So, uh, you guys, uh, somebody help our new person out here so they know what kind of craziness is going on. And these are Closet of Raw. And these are paid. So, I'm going to put it in your bag, but I got the paid on here already for you. So that's the difference to you. That's another reason why I'm marking these. Um, Cause if we actually have to go to a battle royale, um, then that means that you're, you know, at the end you're going to get hit. You're going to get charged for it already before I do the bundle. But the good thing is then that, that item or items that you get during battle royale, those can be paying um, your shipping for the other stuff that we add that's you're just calling dibs and nobody else is in it. Interesting. So let me put these in closet raw. Closet, you got something in there. Nope, that's Marley. 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 There's closet raw. Where you at? All right, next. Oh. We're going to be going all day, ladies. So, we, we got plenty, and gentlemen, we got plenty of time for lots of stuff. So, these are going to be, the tag is running away from me. These are Dansko Silver and Black Sneakers, uh, size 40, leather, and man-made, it says. These are kind of cool. I don't know, has it, these are really good, sh these look new, guys. I mean, there's some dirt on here but it's it's not like dirt dirt it's like fuzz probably from the bag dansko size 40 sneakers so instead of clogs these are like a silvery like a metallic silvery um i'm not sure if we had some jeffrey campbell's earlier or not but oh my god they're so soft on the inside too so is anybody interested and some metallic silver dance goes size 40 looking like i'm not even seeing scuffs like the only thing i see is like a little bit of dirt on here but it doesn't look like i went out walking dirt and we are going to start these at 25. yeah they would be great for grandma's back and they they're squishy so they've got like that that foamy inside so, can we switch? What do you want to switch? Do you want to switch these for the other dance goes? And you're going to do 30 on these and take out the dance goes? Okay. Did anybody else want these before we did her at 30? Okay. No. All right. So, we're going to take out these dance goes and trade them for those. And this is the other reason why us doing it this way allows us to not have to have issues where people want to cancel something later or anything like that because you can trade out before the end of the show all right i got those for you liquid chicken got those with your thing 
So that way we're able to build you a five pound bag. You only got to pay that one shipping. Um, thank you, Liquid. And oh, we're getting you guys good. Do the bin check on the dance coast. Yeah, we did do that in the twist. So we did the bin and the twist. These are like new, these guys. I mean, there's like not even anything on there. So these are beautiful shapes. And hopefully I didn't knock my thing off. Okay. Yes, I do bend, twist, all of that fun stuff for all of our new people. The other dance goes, they do need, um, these were 20, and they do need some edge dressing touch-up. And we did the, the test on these. These are also 40s. And then yeah. twist there. So these were going at 20. Um, if anybody wants these, um, the other person, were you interested? There's the other person that asked about these. Angela. Yes, no, right, left. $20. They do need some uh, edge dressing. All right. And that is it for these shoes. So I'm going to put these ones that didn't sell that are that size back in there. So let me get all those that are for that size that we didn't sell. <sighs> we still got the Sorrel boots for people that came in late. And the, um, the Wayne's, wait, um, Damon Wayne or something. I, Wait, I don't know. You guys helped me out with that stuff. Trust your shut down. All right, so I got all the shoes that didn't sell in that nine to nine and a half frame. Let's go through some. Uh, I mean, we got we got a couple people in here. We got uh forty. Let's see what we got in the fancy stuff then. All right. We had some men in here a little bit earlier, but I know there's women in here, but you love your man and you want him to have a nice outfit. No, so all of that, I'll, I'll get to other bins later. So, uh, I don't really do call outs here because I have to go to all different places in the house. So I tried to get a bunch of stuff together for, to, for this morning. And then um, we're going to go downstairs and do some other clothes. And then we can, um, if we got time, we can grab another bin or two of shoes. Okay. Um, if you want a specific size and we don't get to that, or if you just want to move on to another show, go ahead and send me a message in the bundle area. And that way, um, when I get to those items, I can send you out a, a heads up little uh, beacon out there and let you know hey we're doing your size shoes today that sound good all right so do i need to hide the camera so you can go through <laughs> okay all right burberry london guys telling me in here doesn't help me because i'm not gonna see it later you need to send it in your bundle area if you're telling me sizes and items that you want got Burberry London, uh, size medium, really nice navy gingham. This thing is crisp. It like has no rare wear. You don't have any issues staining or anything. The bundle area, exactly. And this is going to be going on probably for at least a couple months because <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, maybe a year. It, it could be three years that we're doing this, guys. I don't know. So, Burberry London, men's size medium, blue, navy blue check gingham, starting at $30. $30. This isn't worn. This is like new. $30. Burberry, size medium. Anybody want you? wants you to anybody love come on guys this is a great valentine's present right short sleeve 
too. So for spring, it's good. You can go to the office, even if you have to wear a suit, you can wear the short sleeve and you're not as hot. So no one, $30 for a Burberry size medium. Um, it has not run. Did you want to call it for $30? Oh, looks like Hearts and Bling is going to call it for $30 and walk away with it. You go, girl. See, if nobody wants to compete with you, then you just get it for my break even. There you go. Hearts and Bling. Did we already start you a bag, Hearts and Bling? I do think, Joel. Okay, so we're going to start you a bag. Congratulations. Oh, cool. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hopefully, we'll have some more people coming in since we're the top show. It's probably because everybody else is asleep. And you know, y'all are here for the t-shirt, right? Everybody's here for the t-shirt. I know it. Hello. We're number one. We're number one. Y'all going to break my wanna all right so burberry about 30 dollars and it's like new and now we got to start hot some bling for our own bag so for those of you that are joining us right now in our top rated show actually i just happen to be top on the list for some reason probably for all those awesome little heart faces you guys are giving me what we do is to save people on shipping and stuff like that. And because I have a lot of stuff to go through, guys. So, yeah, it's actually kind of cold today for us. That's why I got the door open. Um, so, what I do is if there's only one person that's interested in an item, you get it for my opening amount. We don't do the other thing. That way, I can create bags and once you hit five pounds then we'll cash you out so that way like if you only grabbed a couple things today but then tomorrow you grab a couple more things you're not having to pay a shipping fee for today a shipping fee for tomorrow tomorrow when you have five pounds then i can be like okay i'm sent you and i do it as a bundle it'll have your names bundle and then in the description, it'll be itemized listing of the item and the price that you purchased that's in your bag. And that also helps, like, during the show, we've already seen it, like, two times. People either wanted to remove something from their bag um, or somebody wanted to trade out items. That way, we're not having to do, like, canceling orders and all that. So, and if, if we go, if it goes a month of weekends that you don't have five pounds, we can go a month of weekends. I just hold your bag. But that's how we do it here. Yeah. Yay, I'm so glad you guys like it. All right, so hearts and bling, $30 for the Burberry. Well, now I'm gonna give you, now we're gonna bring out the Burberry pants to go with the Burberry top. So we'll see if, if the, hopefully the sizes match up there for you. Cause we got some Burberry. Oh, it's coming now. I gotta get this through there. But hopefully, also, I know for those of you that have been with me, shipping was a nightmare this last week uh, because I did not use the bag program up here in the leather room. I used it downstairs in the clothes, and that went great. Then I got up here to leather room, and I'm still trying to find some stuff. So that's why we're doing everything is going in a bag today. So it made it really good. If you don't think you're going to buy more than one item, I actually have been set up in the kitchen that I'm putting alphabetical order, like single purchase people. So that way it's still going to be a lot easier. I know where everything is. I don't have to try and rummage through stuff. And we're good to go. I like that I don't know you would hold items. Yes. Definitely, we will hold items because, like I said, I don't want people paying 50 because we're going to be doing this for a while, guys. I am not exaggerating when I say I have seven tons of items. Um, so we're going to be doing this for a while, trying to clear this out. All right, so these are Burberry jeans. Let's see, where's the little 
and you can see that part. Where's the little taggy? Right here. So these are size 50, it says. That's got to be a one. I don't know. That's got to be a, a UK size because these don't look like a size 50. Yeah, these are definitely 50 UK size because that's not 50 inches. You've got your leather Burberry. Now, this, these have definitely been washed because you've got the leathers, got that wash thing. Um, yeah, a thrifting den, you got so much stuff. It's going crazy. Yeah, so everything on your bundle will actually be itemized in the description area and like the price. So, really cute. These, um, there's one little spot on the booty right there. And I might even be able to get that out. Do we want to try some grandma secret? Um, can you remember right now? Per Alexa, it would be a size 14. So that would be a women's size 14. Which I guess they could be women's. This is just coming off my finger now. Um, so yeah, I would use a grandma stain remover on that. And it'll come right off. So the it says it's... Uh, let me measure it. Did anybody see what I did with my measuring tape? Yep. Fine, but. Okay, so. Get this thing nice and flat. Okay, so the waist flat front is 18 and a half inches. I think I go over here to do the unseen. inseam is 32 and a half so i mean it's a good unisex option 32 and a half inseam and what did i say 18 yeah so 18 let's go with 18 it's probably 18 and Point twenty five. Okay, so we got more than one person that wants these. We're going to start them off at $35. Anybody else interested? You're going to get them for $35, hearts and bling. You're happy. You're excited. You like this when we add stuff to your bins like that. See what happens. Nobody jumps in. You just get them added to your bit, your bag, and then that way we can wait till you got five pounds. Hearts and blings. I think I just made you a bag, right? Okay. So let's see where I made her some blingies bag. Yeah, I just made something for you. Oh, right here. I didn't even finish writing your name down. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, let me finish writing it down. All right. There you go, my dear. Put your tag on here. This way we're... I know we're taking a little time, but me spending the little bit of time now in between um, during the show, it's going to save so much time on shipping, guys. And y'all are going to be so much happier and not want to murder me. In some of these cases, I'm feeling like murdering myself because I get so frustrated with losing stuff. Sage, so, so much. All right. So, awesome. Got a little thing going on there. Um... No, I've got. So, how many people we got? Okay, we're gonna have to add a couple more people for this. Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent lingerie or yeah, lingerie cream long dress. So, so I'm gonna show y'all because y'all here for it. So y'all gonna have to get some of y'all friends in here for us to run this. 
we got this. You say in the wall. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it is a uh it's E Saint Laurent Lingerie. A hundred percent. Okay. Uh, this is fake. Just for a check. I'm going to double check, but that's fake. It's got Chinese on it. So much for that. I guess I'll wear it now. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to talk to these people, but I mean, everything else I hate. That's the, that's the part about this is like, we're actually going through stuff as I'm opening things that I got from um, my sourcing So y'all know, I'm going to tell y'all if that's fake or not. So, um, see, and that's the other giveaway. It's got the, the China, the Asian size, the 155. So I just have to keep that for myself because I'm pretty sure it's like, Talk to, talk to my people. Give me fake stuff. That's the second fake thing. Oh, we got another Burberry. Burberry coming in. This is a size extra large. He was saying, oh, I wish that Burberry was a large. Well, we got an extra large. And this is a black kind of, uh, it's not... It's denim, but it's almost, it's almost chambray level. So two, so this is an extra large. You've got your Novichok on the inside and it is an extra large. Let's see. Let's see how long this sucker is. It's in really good shape. I mean, cause it looks like, um, I mean like in the armpit, there's a little, but it's almost, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be because you can kind of see there's a little bit of that kind of not really it's not really distressing i'm not going to call it distressing because it's not like a, a hardcore thing it's more of the type of dye bath that's used is when there's wrinkles and stuff in the fabric you get that kind of movement to it but that's you actually want that um because that gives it um, depth, especially when you're talking about a black or a really dark charcoal like this is. You want to have that that kind of little bit of yeah. It kind of looks like sham. It it's like it's almost it's a little bit thicker than chambray, so that's why I think it's more to the denim side. Let's double check and see if there's anything else in it besides cotton. Looking for the tags. Okay, so why are we missing tags? Oh, tags on here. Okay. So this is 100% imported cotton, machine wash, humble dry, do not bleach, light starch if needed, made in the USA. Burberry made in the USA. Um, so 100% cotton. That's why. Yeah, I'm going to call, we'll call it like a, a heavy chambray. So heavyweight chambray because it's not quite denim. It's not quite light, normal chambray. Okay, how many people have asked? Uh, we're going to do this also 35. So everyone interested for 35 on the Burberry Extra Large. If there's more than one person, then we're going to have a battle royale. Yeah, get your game face on. Okay. Looks like it's a battle. It's a battle. It's a battle. Game faces. And uh, for those of you that if you do more than one battle royale and you don't have full five pounds, I can um, cancel like one and then just add it to your thing. So. I'm getting a migraine right now. Okay. So I need I need hydration, I think, because I'm getting a migraine and it's not good. All right. All right. Burberry. 
Marie, extra large. Extra large. Watch I'm going to call it charcoal, guys, just because it's in between black and gray. Great men shirts done size extra large. Oh, no, like standard extra large. There we go. Okay, here we go. Starting it at $35. And we are going to battle it out, people. Arr, battle Royale. Come. Here we go. Battle Royale, Burberry, size extra large, hundred percent cotton. We're gonna call it a heavy chambray because it's kind of in between denim and chambray. Battle it out! Oh, hearts and bling is like it's mine. Back up! I'm a hearts and bling is like I'm paying for my shipping label. Oh. She paying for her shipping label with her burger. That's right. You're choking? Well, stop choking. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. You're at work? Okay, so like, so, what, what funny stuff can we mess with? Uh, let's all mess with thrifting done. Make her get in trouble for laughing at our work. Because you're not supposed to have fun when you're at work. Oh my God. Uh, there she got a uh, closet rock. I uh, got the bur burberry. All right, and we're gonna put another paid label on this. And so, uh, that's got you with two tags right now, closet. So if you don't have ten pounds of stuff today and tomorrow, because I'm assuming you're coming tomorrow too. If you don't have ten pounds, we can like delete one and add it. Okay. Yeah, Penny needs to talk about underwear and butts, apparently. Yeah, she's going to be here. She's going to fill up 10 pounds. Oh, this is paid. Paid, paid, paid. Market paid, paid, paid. And it's going to be attached, so it doesn't. Dear God. Okay, I might have to close doors and windows. And turn the AC on because my brain feels like it's about to explode. And I know you guys need your 16 hours, right? You need the 16 hours of folly. So we can't let this migraine take over. So I'm a, you guys are going to have to give me a minute, okay? So, because I'm going to, oh, the dog's like, look. And I was like about to close the doors and windows. And he's doing his old man sitting outside. Now I can't, right? That would just be cruel and unusual punishment to like close the door on him. Right? Okay, I'm gonna go grab my uh, migraine medicine that I'm supposed to take as soon as it starts. And hopefully that'll keep it from going. Okay, let me put this in closet or off. Then we're gonna go grab, oh, do you know why guys? I know why I don't, I didn't take my morning med yet. Okay, so it's going to be a minute. Give me a second. I'm going to go grab my migraine and my morning meds, which will help me. So we got people needing some minutes. Okay, so let me go do that. Oh, my head.
he looks so sad. I gotta, let's give him a treat. That'll make him happy. Okay, he'll be happy for a minute because we got him some chewy treats so I can crank on the AC. Yeah, it's probably back up to 80 again already. Because it's hot out there. He's got a treat, so he's good. And I'm going to leave this out here because I think I can take like multiples of those. Oh, God, these must be regular. Okay, so. Um, take one at onset and may repeat again in two hours. Okay, if I still am having migraine issues, you guys let me know. I can have another one in two hours. What? She needs to park her booty before her back kicks up. Actually, walking around is a little bit better for me um, than just sitting. Sitting is my kryptonite. That's what like usually has me stuck in bed the next day the worst. So being able to walk around a little bit too is good. So 3.30, you guys, is that when the two hours is? Yeah, cool. So if I still feel like my brain is going to explode at 3.30, I can take another one of these migraine pills. I'm really pressure sensitive. Cause that's what usually like, like my spasms and, um, the migraines are usually pressure related and we just had a front come through. That's why the door was open. Cause the front came through and kind of cooled things off. But then it does this to my brain. So there we go. All right. Okay. I got another thing over here that comes with the printed authentic so you know a lot of my stuff does have authentications but only some of the places i source from like print them out so if if you have stuff like i know uh the brahmins i think most of the brahmins that i have i have authentication papers for so just send me a picture of it if you want me to check my authentication because the ones that i get that are digital i just throw them into a folder Yes, these are, I take, I take this one thing that's supposed to like help stop it, but this is Sumatropin, Sumatropin, I think, so that's what I'm supposed to take, like when it actually does start happening. Yeah, so it's, uh, there it is, then you don't have to see my stuff, so. So two hours, I can take another one, but then there's like a limit to how many. So I can't exceed 25 milligrams in 24 hours. So we got until tomorrow night. I can only have, it's 25 each. That's eight. So I can only have eight pills before tomorrow night ends at this time. Okay. Dutchie and Cabana. Dutchie and Cabana. Imatrex brand is what she's saying. The bitter. Look at this. Okay, so this is really cool, guys. You see the ruching? Then you untie it. And then it's not ruching. And it's like underneath. So you can have it regular. A little down. So it's like basically a tunic dress if you want down. So this is coming right at my knees or you can make it a tunic shirt and have that little side thing. So pull it up on the one side like that. And now you got a little ruched shirt, little swing side action. Super cute. I love the metallic thread in this. It's not tacky metallic. You know what I mean? 
and it's silver so it kind of looks like it might show gold on there again authentication paperwork on that that's going to come with it so this is one of the sourcings that actually print them out for me and send them so we're going to start this at forty dollars Dolce & Gabbana t-shirt dress slash tunic forty dollars is closet a rod the only one in it it is um it's probably a one size just because it's kind of that oversized one size thing let me see if there's a size down here oh it's a 40. oh and just so y'all can also see there's the your hologram so it's a size 40. size 40. sorry i called it a one size big it's a good one so there is your information on what it's made of 40. I mean, Italy. didn't we just do 40s? It was like a 14 or something. 40. And I and I hate this part too is when they have like 40 because you don't know if it's a uh, if it is a Italian size or Euro size. So I kind of hate that too. Yes. Oh, I can put some music on. You guys want some music? Let me put the music on. Let me go over here on the meet.